my god. All right. So everyone, the gang's all here. Finally, full party. Um, quick recap. So last time you guys spoke to Reeve Wilmot, he gave you the rest of the uh, payment or part of the rest of the payment that he owed from the forged document. Um, then you guys went to the harbor. You spoke to Dockmaster Colton. There were some quippers in the water, and you killed them. He was concerned that there was something out in the middle of the Gracewater Lake that was pushing the fish closer to the shore. You did not investigate that. Instead, you guys um, visited the Huntress Muriel, and you found out that she was injured by a werebear, and she had just had her cards read by Telvu the Mystic. So then you guys went to go speak to Telvu the Mystic, some of you guys got your uh, cards read. Um, some of you, two of you, Rainier and um, his son, went to Elder Lashal's house instead of getting your cards read. You spoke to him. You found out he is looking for elven scrolls that have to uh, deal with ancient um, artifacts said to be imbued with um, very strong magical properties. Also, Flappy terrorized Wilma, Reeve Wilmot's daughter. And uh, and slander. Yep, yep. Um uh. but then he spent most of his evening flying around just checking out the scene and he saw a black dog that disappeared. And uh Canary, do you want to fill us in on what you did all day yesterday? Oh he you know, I was just uh, enjoying the festival. Um, great food, great drinks, great company. How can I pass up on that? Did you um, get your cards read? I did get my cards read. Do we know what happened? Can we know what happened? Uh, that's between me and oh, the card reading. The alleyway God. he passed Dang that it. in. in... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's let's just say her card her, her cards got read too. Ooh. Oh shit! Got oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe we're hooking up the wrong people here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in line. So you guys. For all we know, there was morning, one. And it's, oh, God. it's a pretty nice day. You know, it's a little chilly out, slight breeze. You guys are at Reeve Wilmot's house. Uh, he is not there, but Wilma is. You guys ate some breakfast, so you guys could say that you have eaten today. There was some uh, bacon and eggs left out on the st on the stove for you. Um, you guys can do whatever you would like to do for today. I don't think you had anything um, set up from last session that you guys wanted to do. I think we got told, I think Flappy mentioned that they saw the werebear in the forest. Yeah, yeah he saw he saw something that resembled a bear-like a bear. form. Yep. Yeah. It was in the forest. Yeah. And it was quite close to town, and I think we unanimously agreed that it was a problem for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <clears throat> we agreed multiple we wanted to go gossip, do some gossiping as well with, uh, with Higa. Yeah, 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 I've done that as well. Okay. Yeah, we gotta also go see Edkin the Rancher. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just rising to stir uh, right now. I'm the last one to awake. You know, it's a long night, so I'm just kind of Can lumbering I in. You Ooh. ate bacon off of Wilma's uh, plate. I okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> it was delicious. What can I say? <laughs> Looked good. I, so, I, I ate it. Uh. We have a potential thing from Elder Lashal as well with the uh, elven artifacts. Actually, you know what? Uh, Diastri, do you have... A, we? Uh, I didn't get a chance to ask you uh, last night. Um, do you have any knowledge on what it is that Elder Lashal is like researching? Unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot of knowledge on the history of elves. I I was raised outside of, uh, I mean, I, I my by my aunt and uncle. I, I mean, they were elves, but mm. we didn't really, you know, 
Gotcha. Study study okay. a whole lot on that. Okay. I was pretty much a, a street kid. You can um, roll Fair a history enough. check if you would like Diastri. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. Roll good. If we can wrap this up. Okay, so with a 13, um, you would know that there are several stories of um, during the war against the humans and the elves, there were um, several game-changing battles, let's say, that um, were rumored to have the gods actually intervened and they were able to with um like i don't know some some sort of it was a myth so it's like you know some sort of like oh these are our you know generals and this is um you know how they won but they're all just stories you don't really know too much about it yeah i do remember my aunt and uncle telling stories but that's all i thought they were i didn't know i wasn't sh sure if they ever had any historical or if they were just fairy tales Beautiful. So, what, what's on the agenda for everyone today? Are we going? Old human, I recognize you. I would like to go to the baker's and buy some. Uh, just see what they have for sale before we get going, and then I will accompany whoever's heading to Etkins. I think that'd be most of us, I would assume. Mm -hmm. You guys just want to okay. all head uh, out. The, so the market is on the way to a lot of the other stuff. It's pretty central. Ooh. Well, we, we, we do have a couple things to do. Talk to Edgen. Uh, we could try to get some more information from Marielle about where she encountered the bear, maybe a location. You can also I would let her like... know. Yeah. I would like to go I explore we, I the thought, aftermath uh, of last night. Hmm. And then Diastri, you said something about Higa, the town gossip. Yeah, I mean, she she keeps an eye out and watches a lot of things that take place inside the town. We've been told so. Uh, maybe ever... you know, take take the things that she has to say with a grain of salt, but uh, all information mm. is good. Yeah. yeah, do you know where this Higa is? I think she's up in I the have meadows. Something... Yeah, I, I have a little arrow pointing her name to Meadows Rise mm. here. Might be worth talk to them. Okay, yeah, so we, we have, have Etgen at the ranch, Kiga at Meadows Rise. Uh, do we want to kind of go one, like, split the group like we did last night, or kind of move as one? I think oh. we should move as one, just in case we do run into trouble. I, I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would like to go I, check out the camp that I flew over last night and see if there's any evidence of a uh, werebear. I would also like to go just do a double check on that. Yeah, I think we should just map it out the best routes to Do we do we have the map? Can we uh, get the town map uh Ghibli? Yeah. Thank you. Now, if I if I might posit a question for all of us, which trail do we think is going to get colder first? This were bear or the goblins? I'm inclined to say the goblins. It's I already agree. been a day since yeah. we've had I mention of them, the so goblins. I think Personally, I don't care really about know. the goblins. We got our money. Quick That's question. all that mattered to me. My I also DSS agree. Frozen. Oh no! It has. It has. Oh. Or my 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 ankles were tied together. And he was the only one around. Can't take me out. Puffs out some smoke. You're lucky. I like tricks. <laughs> All right, I think I'm back online. Oh. So you have are. no evidence. You are correct. No evidence, officer. Um, so you guys are going to head well, he innocent of these crimes to the market to go to the bakery, and then you can either go up north to um, Higa Layla's house, and then the camp is just beyond her house. And then Edgins. Sorry, are we on the other screen? No, I'm I'm putting you on the map right now. But oh, okay. I have to fix my OBS because you know how these things go. Mm. Um, how well? Did it, boys? We made it. We're on the map. Yeah, you know, just yeah. super pro. But... Just throwing that out there. 
back back to that that minor discussion we were having though um yeah i agree i think i don't really care about the goblins at this point in time i feel like there's more pressing matters yeah well uh, being, saying, we... being the werebear the way it has a time limit as well. Mm. Which, which, by the way, I, I still have a sack of gold for you guys from from the initial. Oh, we um we split it up already. We, no, I thought we I was got carrying... the extra one hundred. Mm. Oh, you yeah, extra one hundred. Oh, I had the yeah. extra one hundred. Yeah. So no, we extra... wait the initial one hundred. I thought we split <clears throat> yeah. that up at the end of the yeah, first session. Okay. He's got the rest of it already. He did. Flappy we, didn't get no, shit. I, I didn't get anything. <laughs> Well, that's yeah, why I'm dropping the coins on the table right now. All right, okay. to make it easy it's all there. for the party, there was 300 <laughs> gold total. Mm. And you were given Did we it, get all of it? You were given the first 100 after the winners won, got it after they won the race. The mm -hmm. second 100 was when you guys were at Reeve Wilmot's house and Diostri had forged that document saying he owed you another 200. He was like, well, mm -hmm. I don't have all that cash right now. I'll give you what I have. He gave you another 100 and then ran into Canterray during Canterray's, you know, ri you know, revelry in the town last night. And then he gave him the extra 100 after he did a little withdrawal from the bank of okay. Michelle Cove. Okay. So there's 200 up for grabs. So the losers get 25 each and the winners get an extra 25. Yeah, an extra 50. Yeah. Extra 25. Sure. Cool. Okay. I mean, sure. And mine is I'm updated now. Feels good to be a winner, honestly. Okay. So yeah, real <laughs> quick, since you guys are on the town map, here is the market area. Here is mm -hmm. the uh, Edgins Ranch, and then here is Meadows Rise. Okay. So. And then the camp is more north of yeah, Meadows Rise. The camp is more north of Meadows Rise. So we could go see Higa and then go to the camp afterwards, yeah, or go to the camp around. and then come back. You can sort of circle back around to the ranch as well. Mm. Depends what happens at the camp, I suppose. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So you guys head over to Meadows Rise. There are... Um... I thought we were going to the market first. Okay, you guys go to the market. Well, Easy. For I, 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 somebody said that. Let's. They he wants to go to the market he's not here. first. He just wants he's to go here. buy stuff <laughs> at the baker's. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to go see the baker. Huge ass. Huge ass. Yeah. <laughs> so, boy, yeah, no. bread. Um, do we, do we want to go to the bakery or do we want to go? I mean, I've already had butter buns. I've already had breakfast. I don't need to go to the. I don't need to go to the. Go to the bakery. I'd rather overruled. Let's go. <laughs> I'd rather get this uh, this way of situation sorted out. Yep. Yeah. Why do we need bread? We already okay. ate breakfast. True. True. That's exactly right. We've had one, yes. But what about second breakfast? <sighs> All right. So you guys are going to bypass the market. You can always get it on the way back. I mean, it's not going anywhere. You know, it's a big, big boy market. Yeah, for sure. Um, you come guys... back and it's just completely destroyed. Go <laughs> to um, Meadows Rise. You see, uh, while you guys are walking through the town, a few people are stopping and looking at you. A lot of the townspeople are kind of um, intrigued by your party. One, you guys did, uh, you know, kind of save the day with the goblins during the Reawakening Festival. Two, you also um, are a party of, you know, some humans but a lot of mixed races and while they are a town they're pretty tolerant you'll see other like there's tieflings and stuff that live in the town um there are you know like they've never seen a dragonborn before and then there, you guys have an owl in with you so there are a few people um you guys can drag yourselves onto the map um when you guys approach you see these three cabins here um, you see a few children actually playing outside, and um, oh, you have Angermar with you. I forgot. And um, I ride in places. I love that. Okay. Um, oh, are we on a different map? Yes, you have yeah. to drag yourself over. Oh, the crocodile elevator thing is not going to attack the children, is it? No. Most yeah. likely he's, not. He's a map. if he's riding on if he's riding on it. Yeah, I sure. can't imagine he would be. That aggressive. I'm, I'm still on the overworld. 
Really? Or like not the overworld. Oh, I remember Cogs was having troubles with yeah, getting pulled like, with us, good. right? Yeah. It's just my fault. After we yeah, fixed yeah. that, reason, though. I, he doesn't join my, my macro, but... Alright, try to pull yourself over now. There we go. I'm in. I'm in. You. There we go. I'm here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> as you approach, there's the three cabins. There's two kids playing out in front of the cabins right here. And um, as you guys kind of walk up, there's a little girl, and she is um, playing with, like, a doll, and she's just sort of stares up at you. There's also a little boy. And he immediately runs up to you guys. He is just so excited. He goes directly to the Dragonborn. And he's like, whoa, that's so cool. Are you part dragon? Yeah, I'm part dragon, kid. <laughs> cool. Damn. Did you bring the goblins? My dad doesn't let us go to the flower festival by <laughs> ourselves. So I'm just like... You know, I wanted to see the goblins, and I didn't get to see them. What, were they cool looking? Uh, they were pretty nasty looking. Um, make sure you stay away from them if you ever see them. I I step in between Flappy and the children. Well, oh, no. I'm on top of the house right now, apparently. So <laughs> did you? Fly That's where I dragged there? myself. Oh, oh. That's where okay. I dragged and top... dropped myself, and I just kind of was like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh, hey kid, okay. you want to play a game? <laughs> yes. Uh, what's your name? My name's Vic. 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 I gotta die here. If you roll higher than me, I'll give you a gold coin. Oh, okay. Is a gold coin. It's not gambling because I ain't nine betting. I'm just saying if he beats me, he wins money. Okay, what do I have to roll? I mean, a 1d6, I guess. I got Whoa. three. Is that good? Ah, that's pretty good, kid. It's going to be hard to beat you there. Uh, I take out my charlatan's die. Oh, no. Oh. You can roll <laughs> 2d6 God. with advantage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, two. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Oops, actually, I did that wrong. That added them together. You got a yeah. two and a four. So let's say okay. So I did a, I, I, I how do we do the charlatan die? die uh, side side note, like since since I can d dictate what I roll basically with it. Um, I would say I guess you could just say what it's gonna roll. I was gonna give you advantage, but you're right. You do it is like a loaded die, right? So yeah, yeah. So it basically so yeah. Canary shakes the die, rolls it, and it's a two. Oh, it's you beat me, kid. Roll. You beat what me, a, kid. What a nice dragonborn. Nice boy. <laughs> flip, a, flip a coin to him and uh, kind of give him a little head pat and kind of turn around and walk away. Right on, right on. You see him, he takes it, he runs back over to his sister, he shows it to her, he's like, look, look what this dude gave me. You want to go to the bakery? We can go get the muffin or the cinnamon buns from Hugh. <laughs> That's probably like a year's wage. For his parents, <laughs> right? <laughs> Might be, uh, Mom, we bought the bakery. Yeah, education. we bought the bakery with the one gold. <laughs> oh, oh no! That's ex okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's say like, let's be, let's say a cinnamon bun is at least like, let's say it's expensive and say it's like a silver, right? Just one. That's like, very expensive. That's very expensive. That's very expensive. Four copper. Or yeah, a, a, a four, uh, it's four cinnamon buns in like a square is one copper or four coppers. So it's like a copper <laughs> cinnamon bun. Oh, like, cinnamon's that easily gotten? Well, they have Tell the Mystic. She sells spices. Yeah, <laughs> at discount prices. Mm -hmm. They're gonna come home <laughs> with a hundred cinnamon buns. In a stack. <laughs> yeah, the baker's huge ass is gonna rip those kids off. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is. What I would do. Oh, God. Um, I love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh. Wait, wait. I call back to the boy to get him back over here. Yeah. I'll what? give you another gold. Where can we find Kiga? He um, points to this house. 
And he's like, over there. And he kind of holds his hands out. Like, he cannot believe. Like, he's, just, he's winning the lottery right now. Yep. I give him the gold. But before I do it, and I say, now, you know how to share, right? And I look over to, like, the girl that he was running over, going to be running over to. Yeah, I guess. Do I have to? <laughs> I would say you do. Can I roll persuasion? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Or actually, should I intimidate this kid or persuade him? Persuade. One hundred percent. You should not intimidate the child. Maybe I would intimidate the child. Yeah. <laughs> all right. yeah. I would, yes, I. I would say that's probably fair. That way, you could each get all the cinnamon buns you want. <laughs> Eleven. He's like, all right, all right. I, I can, you know, I, I can give her the other one. I do have two gold, so I. That's yeah, okay. And yeah. He, he goes over and he hands it to her. You are pretty child. rich, kid. Okay, no, never mind. He's going to pay off his parents' debt, the mortgage. <laughs> got the mortgage paid off, Dad. Or he's going to come home with a really overpriced cinnamon bun. Yes. Four really overpriced <laughs> cinnamon buns. Um, the Austrian He's going to have a really lifetime high. cinnamon bun membership. Uh, passive perception at when you look over at the house that the little boy pointed out you actually see a woman peering through the window looking out at you she seems to be pretty short like if the windowsill is like here she's like up to here you know um she's older she's got uh kind of gray hair kind of like a bit of a weathered face um she's not unattractive she's just not very young Is she human? Yeah, she's human. Was... Okay. She's very short. Okay. I guess we're just going to approach the house and knock on the door. Um, as soon... can, I, can I roll inside just to see if we see anything else? Um, around? Insights like to check out like or, people? Sorry, like... not... Yeah. You can do um, perception. Not... I was going to say investigation, but... Um, or... The I word. The other I word. <laughs> okay, what are you investigating? I'm um, just looking around to see if we see anything that's out of place. Okay. You see tracks leading up to her door. It looks like a set of two wheels, but nothing's like out of place. Mm. Um. Oh. However, as you approach, you guys don't even get to knock on the door. She kind of swings the door right open. Um, she is sitting in a chair, and it has wooden wheels. It's like a wheelchair. She's got a blanket over her legs. She already saw you guys through the window, so when she saw that you guys were coming over, she kind of um, opens the door, and she's like, Newcomers, eh? What does she look like? Um, she that is highly suggestive. She's like, uh, you know, mid fifties. She's got kind of salt and pepper, like streaks of gray in her hair. She's got black hair, very weathered face, very tan skin. You can tell she's been in the sun a lot and her hands are incredibly arthritic and they just sort of sit on her lap over the blanket in the wheelchair. Can I, I, gr I gruffly ask, are you Higa? Yes, I am Higa. And who are you? I'm Kenneray. May I uh, roll an insight check just to kind of get a gauge on Higa? Yeah, go for it. Awesome. And I, what I'm looking for is I want to kind of like, you know, kind of first impression. Like, is she look like she gets out much? Does she really like, uh, is she very sociable? Uh, does she someone that like, uh, essentially like, is she like there are certain people that you can tell like uh, they are they'd be easily complimented and kind of thing and they'll be like they will they're susceptible to compliments and like a persuasive conversation that type of thing. Okay, yeah, roll insight. Yeah. Um. Oops. Let's see. Did it happen? There it is. Oh, ten. From what you can tell, she doesn't seem like she gets out much. She is kind of bound to her wheelchair. She's an older woman. Mm -hmm. um, the way that she answers the door and talks to you guys, you can tell that she's pretty nosy and she just sort of like peers outside all day. 
and uh you know kind of lives in like a fishbowl sort of like sense. watching watching tv yeah. but it's a window i'd like uh can rainier step forward and say hi and just kind of give a big like very charming smile uh yeah. we were uh wanting to just come here and ask a few questions uh we know that you kind of have uh kind of know the goings on around town uh do you mind if may uh may we come inside and have a chat with you yeah sure and she uh opens the door she lets you come into her house the inside of her house is um pretty small pretty cramped but there's um a lot of room for her chair to get through so she doesn't really have much in the way of seating because she always sits in her chair she's got a table at the right height for her to go up to her kitchen she's got um instead of a fireplace like a lot of the houses like a hearth she has a small brazier um it's like iron right in kind of the center of the living room she's got crates of food a little pantry um her bed is actually on the floor you can see it looks like a straw mattress on the floor it's all one room she has um like a little chamber pot and a little bathtub so you guys are here about the goblins no yes and no. yes yes <laughs> let's say yeah uh, among a couple other things uh, a couple yes. other things I don't say heard that you are a person that has a wall. lot of a lot of information and so we wanted to talk yeah, about the goblins gonna... and and just generally about the town post up next to the dragonborn as well <clears throat> just oh. kind of sit on the outside yeah what do just... you want to know I uh, I don't get out much, obviously, but I do tend to watch the road, especially with all these foreign folks stampeding around for the festival. Yeah, uh, regarding the foreign folks, uh, any apart from some of the uh, foreigners within our own group here, uh, any one in particular catch your eye that you think may have been a uh, uh, suspicious or interesting mm, to find interesting to me everyone's interesting they come from all over mostly ava shores down the way but a few people come from natur the um neighbors over here the sahan family they're loaded <laughs> the sahan family mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about them oh well so the the husband farley he's the heir to the sahan estate they live in Natur, which is the capital city of Isir Elor, and uh, they bought a vacation home here. So that was the talk of the town a few years ago when they moved in. Cost a lot of money to build that house. Imported the lumber from Ava Shores and everything. Why they... did they build it here? Yeah, they live here permanently now? No, offense. no, this is like their vacation home. They travel to and from. They're obviously here for the flower festival now, but... um. You know, he's he's in the textile business. I'm not exactly sure what that means. They've got a little daughter. Are you textile China? business um, always seems code. Charm person, Ignis? No, I pressed the button by accident. Okay, just making sure. I'm, I'm not going to waste my he one was, spell slot He on was her. thinking about it. I thought that was Rhino that cast the first save for some reason. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually trying to see. She was a 50-something-year-old lady who doesn't get out much. I was trying to, like, actually just charm her since I'm... Well, yeah, because... Uh, He's yeah. also a 50-something-year-old man. Yeah. Yeah. Ripped well, a, the prime of his life. Said, as, as you said, oh, charm. Yeah. As you said, charming smile, the charm person. Yeah, I yeah, I saw that yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, did you, did you, do you know anything about the goblins? What's your take? Well, I, like I said, I watched the road, people coming in, people going out. Um, I hadn't seen any goblins, but I hardly doubt that they would just travel out in the open. I hadn't even seen any covered wagons, mostly just horse drawn carts. I didn't see the inside. Obviously, I'm not going to go and inspect their their stuff as they come into the town. But um, I do listen to some gossip, though. And a few folks had mentioned that Edgen had seen a campfire burning just north of his ranch. Reeve Wilmot, I'm sure, would never send his precious guards over there. But perhaps you could talk to Edgen or check out the fire. 
Interesting. Interesting. Was north of his ranch? Yep, just past his uh, pastures. You said that was Edgin, ma'am? Yes, Tim Edgin. So who... He's the rancher. Tim? Who's the house? Who owns the house that moved in next door to Earth? It's the rich people. The Sihans. Sihans? Not Sahans. Sihans. Sihans. Are like the Sihans home right now? Huh? What? I can't understand your voice, Flappy. <laughs> Are the Sihans home right now? Huh? Nope, not getting it. Are the Sihans home right now? I think I'm. Oh. Yes. Uh, yeah, they. I'm sure they are. I haven't seen them come out today. You haven't seen them? No, I haven't ah, seen them. Ah, ah. And what about the, the kids playing outside? Who do they belong to? Oh, those those kids? They're good kids. They're the crest flows. They live just across the way, and she points to one of the cabins. Um, their father, Headley, He's a very nice man. He brings me food and treats sometimes. And like lovely people. Yeah. I would uh, like to go over and investigate the nice big old house of the Sihan people. Okay, roll an investigation. Oh, sorry, this is this house is the Sihans. This huge yeah, one. Yeah, the big one over here. Wait. Damn. Um, God damn. Oh, uh, Ghibli, <clears throat> yes? uh, can you pull the map up for uh, chat? I sure can. You guys are just up there. Yep. Look down a little bit. Um, okay, so for the Sihan's house, you're just investigating the outside, correct? Yeah, yeah, and whatever you can observe on the inside from the outside. Okay. Um, looking in, you see a um, pretty well-furnished house. It's got really nice wood floors. It's got really ornate furniture. Um, it has a piano that you can see. It's got uh, really nice couches, a big fireplace. There's actually um, a violin propped up against the side of a table. Um, you see a woman she's very well dressed walking around um on the inside of the house but she does not notice you uh does it look like the place is well cared for there's not been too many people staying there recently no it's immaculate um if you look in through the side window where the kitchen is you actually see a older gentleman um he's balding he's got a little fluffy little mustache and he looks to be like a servant and he's kind of just going around tidying up stuff putting things away great i'm gonna go up to uh their second story windows fly up there and see about uh which one's their bedroom Okay, there's only one room upstairs, and it is the bedroom. Oh. It's the master bedroom. You see a very well-furnished room. There's actually a fireplace in here as well. There's a bed. There's a little couch, a little um, coffee table. And then you see a vanity table with a big mirror in the corner. And there's actually a man sitting in front of it, and he seems to just be sort of pouring over his face, like under scrutiny in the mirror. Disappointing. Okay, hmm. I'm gonna go back and join the group. Okay. There's, there's, there's nothing to do here. I'm just gonna ask. Is, oops, sorry. Continue. Oh no, you can ask first. Oh, I was just gonna ask. Um, Higa, uh, like who takes care of the house, the Sihan house, while they're not here? Usually, they leave one of their servants. Imagine being so rich that you have servants to take care of everything for you. Wouldn't it be Couldn't nice? Couldn't imagine. Cringe. I don't have to. <laughs> um, yeah, usually they leave Bert Holden. He's the servant, but uh, recently he's been traveling back and forth with them. Sometimes they leave it unoccupied. What's Bert Holden, though? Bert Holden? Yeah, what is he holding? <laughs> These nuts! <laughs> 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 Shit. 
you got to go. That's, that's yeah, okay, I'm done. <laughs> you have to, you have to, you're done now. You have to make a new character. Um, <laughs> you get minus uh, one inspiration. <laughs> Shit. Tiga, what's your, what is your take on Elder Lashal? Oh, I loved Elder Lashal. I always kind of had hopes in a previous life that maybe he and I could be something, but he chose his research over a family. He had a... It's never too late. He had a bit of a, um issue with, you know, my profession and my background, so... And what, what exactly is that? was that? I was an adventurer. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Do go on. Inside check. Can I inside check? Yeah, that? go ahead. Inside check. Twenty-four. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> the first good roll of the night. Twenty-four. <laughs> you can tell that she lived a life that she is very. Aside from the loss of mobility in her legs, she's incredibly fit, even in her age. She definitely knows how to wield a weapon, and she sure is incredibly observant, and she was most likely not an adventurer so much as maybe a bandit or a brigand. She has that look about her, you know, the criminal sense. But then brigands did. Can we do an investigation on the inside of the house? Sure. See roll if there's anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll an insight just to see if I noticed like Arthur kind of like noticing, noticing her. her. Oh, okay. And... Um. Yes. With a seventeen, I... you notice Arthur noticing her, and you can see right. he kind of makes like a little face at first and then yeah. he he resolves but he goes back to like you know normal arthur face um with yeah, a normal arthur face, yep. yep 16 investigation from what you can tell she actually has a couple cabinets that would be very good for like say a stash spot you can see there are some cabinets they're all within her reach nothing like up up high in the count you know in the kitchen her house anything. one floor yeah it's one floor can i roll an insight check on Canaray to see what he got an ins like to see what he may have got <laughs> Yeah, from... you want to see, you want to notice what Canaray noticed. Insights about on insights. Noticing. You don't notice anything. <laughs> you don't even look at him. You're trying to insight check him so much that you you try to like side eye him, but you just can't catch him in your peripheral. It comes across as like mean. Like I just give him like a yeah, like a dirty tanky. look. He's just scowling at me. <laughs> <laughs> when you're inside so hard you forget to inside <laughs> but I just picture everyone like doing that nod to like the family guy nod to each other when they're doing this insight yeah. Yeah. Arthur yeah. looks at Higa nods at her Kenneray looks at Arthur nods at him nods Arthur looks at back <laughs> nods back and yeah. right now over here is the chicken um, but listen Gentlemen, you all seem like really lovely, lovely men. Since you're here, could I ask you guys a favor? Oh boy. There's really always a favor. Help. <clears throat> help Absolutely. Well, we hear that a lot. Well, what's what's in it for us? Well, I have a few treasures I'd be willing to part with. Whoa. I'm awfully lonely. <laughs> I look run out the door. This one, yeah, this one's for <laughs> and, you, for you guys. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk <laughs> outside as well. <laughs> I, I run. What, are, what are we talking about? What lonely, exactly do you need? Man. Well, I've been seeing this dog at night, and he's an all black dog, and he roams around outside of my house, and he's been here for I don't know a month or so. I've been trying to leave him food, but he never comes to me. Obviously, I'm not fast enough to catch him. But I could really do with an animal companion. If you guys bring that dog to me, it would really make my whole day slash. I just thought you were hungry. No, I don't mm. eat dogs. I'm sure we could. Do you even know where that dog has been? No, I, I think he's a stray. He doesn't belong to anyone in the town. I'd love to have I wouldn't dogs. be so sure. Huh. Huh. I mean, to be honest, it's probably, yeah, it's probably died to the way. Flappy a look 
absolutely. absolutely. We'll, we'll be more than happy to see what we can find, see if we can track down that dog for you. Yeah. Um. Where did you last see it? Peace. <laughs> Well, I saw him actually last night. He was out on the road, uh, kind of scavenging. It looks like he was sniffing around. But what's weird is sometimes he's there, and then I, I, he just sometimes he's not. I don't know. It could just be because it's dark. Moving around. Okay. Does he have any That's type cool. of? Uh, does he have any type of uh, pattern behavior as far as when he comes and goes? Usually I see him at nighttime. I don't normally see him during the day. I think right. he's afraid of all like the people in the town and the foot traffic. Yeah. And you said you said he's black? Yep, all black. How big is he? You know, like 40, 50 pounds, like medium sized dog. Not like a wolf or anything. I wouldn't try to send you guys off into danger. I just want a dog. <laughs> Insight check. Yeah, Flappy calls bullshit on that one. <laughs> yeah. Who's Better. posted up next to me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Roll the oh next to me. <laughs> That's great. I She's love it. Being incredibly honest, she's—it's a black okay. dog. It has a mysterious. Sometimes it's there. Sometimes it's not. Comes at night. She doesn't think it's. I dangerous. meant more on the. Okay, I meant more on the like she wouldn't send us into any danger, but yeah, okay. Yeah, she she doesn't feel as though this is a dangerous situation to send you into. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, if we Flappy would dog, like we'll to know how big the dog he saw was last night. It's it matches the description. Do you Flappy is confused. Us? Yo, Baka, I think your mic has like some white noise. There is a very sensible white noise. Yeah. Mine is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. I hear is it hot when... miking? Yeah, it's hot hot miking. Hot miking. I only hear it when we. Or is it only when? Oh, I can. It's, it seems like it stopped now. Actually, yeah, it's it just like stopped. Stop yeah. Now. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Maybe it just needed. Perfect. Great job. Thank you. Sorry. It was yeah. It was just that angle. Um, we just had to call, we just had to call it out. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's now. It got shy. <laughs> I better. <laughs> it's cold now. Um, um, so. It's it's much better now. I can't. It's not happening okay. anymore. <clears throat> yeah, sweet. Anyone else have any I... uh, questions they have? I'm already outside I think now. We should have wrapped this up. Yeah, no, yeah, no. absolutely. Uh, one last thing though. Uh, Piga, what are your thoughts on uh, Colton and Muriel? Um, I like them both equally. Muriel is really nice. I did ask her to help me with my dog, uh, you know, to find that dog. I figured she could track it down, but she's been a little busy, and then I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> as far as Colton, he's all right, I guess. Why? Well, I, guess. I guess you would say that she's barely been around. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly enough, I would say that. <laughs> My intelligence yeah. drops by the day. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Thank you for letting thank us you. into your yes. lovely home. All right. Um, and we'll, we'll try... come across. Well, uh, as everyone files out, I'm the last one to leave. I'm going to take a sidebar with her and just ask really quickly. You haven't happened to see any other dragonborn around here, have you? No, I haven't seen Dragonborn since I spent some time with the gnomes. I appreciate you. I would like to ask her, um... Do you want to see this dog? Is there a pattern to it? No, no pattern. Just comes at night. Flappy would like to walk away very skeptically. Okay. Flappy does not trust this woman. Fair. Are you like backing out? Does Flappy Squeezy. trust anyone? I mean, uh, that's a, that's a valid question. When you walk, does your do you do the pigeon head bob? Oh, he's got you. <laughs> okay, just, I was just very curious. Oh, uh, can his head flap? Can Flappy's head go do a full one eighty? Oh, you're gonna do like a yeah, like an owl. Yeah, it can. Ah, uh, oh, that's weird. Does he have the back <laughs> knees? <laughs> he does, and he can sit crisscross applesauce. Nice. <laughs> oh god! Is there anything Flappy can't do <laughs> next week? Be normal around kids. <laughs> <laughs>
words. Are you insulting my Alan? Does it, does it really need sir? the qualifier around? No, 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 kids? no, no, no. I, I am, <laughs> I am not insulting your customs. I am merely uh, encouraging the sharing of said customs. Sharing is kind. Alan's are expert diplomats. Ah! Oh, I can already tell. You're doing a great <laughs> job. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Little owl. Well, we all your money else. <laughs> we hit over to Inkins Ranch. Is that okay. what we're doing? Did next? you guys want to hit the market I, or, before? Didn't yeah, we go there? Are we going, right. Right. We're going north to the no, camp. No, yeah, we were going to go check was... the camp. I believe, yeah. weren't we? Uh, and the well, dog, we're up well, yeah. Or do we want yeah, to I might yeah, as well make it known to the party just... that the dog was over at the uh, camp last night. Okay. As, okay. as well was the bear that you, or the thing that you thought was a bear. Well, I didn't see a bear. I saw something big, and everything was running away from it. You but... saw mm. that in the woods, though. It was about a forty-five minute to an hour flight north of the town in the woods, but the dog was oh. just north of the town on the road, kind of by where the camp was. However, when you oh. guys look up at where the camp is, there is a bunch of matted grass where tents used to be. There's some tracks from carts and wagons. There's only one tent remaining. You can tell that a lot of people just stayed for the night for the flower festival and then have left, headed out. Okay. Um, there's really not much left. Time did they wake up? Right. Jesus. Any whereabouts did they just make last night? Crack of dawn, probably. Um, at, least, at least 40. Yeah. They also, didn't have a you know, hungover dragon board to deal with. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, we I have a little party down there, so that's my bad. <laughs> that's okay. You so there's only there's only one tent up there. Well, that like really um speeds this up, then I guess. Like we've only got one person to talk to up there. Mm. Where, uh, Flappy? Where abouts in this area did you see the dog? Uh, it was like just east of the. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was just east of the uh, tents. They were having a party last night, and the dog was walking towards town away from it. Yeah, Arr! Arr! To get the area as well. Anyone here good at tracking? Oh, uh, mm. yes. I have well, and maybe an owl. Yeah. I, I know. I'm proficient in survival. You want me to roll, so roll survival? Yeah, I'm proficient in survival. The is a ranger. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm proficient in survival, and I can do. Survival. I. I. I would. A dog would fall into a beast category, so I mean, he would be a favored enemy technically. So I could, Ooh, yeah, track him. Sure, we want to, uh, I guess while uh, would it be a good idea for you to, like try to get track, like see if we can, some of us can go and try to find tracks. Those of us that are good with tracking, and those that are not, uh, maybe ask around and see if anyone has like got a good sighting last night yeah yeah we can go talk to that one person in the tent That'd just go cool okay. yeah okay. yeah i mean oh well, yeah so, the one family all... left i've i have military experience i'm i'm a little bit uh experienced in tracking i am very like smallly uh experienced in tracking as well okay I'm better I with people. <laughs> I suck at yeah, tracking. Can I fly? Um, I will also say, if if we're out of ears reach of Higa's house, Julie. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, she definitely. I noticed she gave off a vibe of more. How do I describe this? Like a more. I guess the only way I can describe it is a more banditry vibe of her, not just so much of an adventurer. I noticed you get a look on your face, Arthur. Yeah. I sort of, when she said adventurer, it sh struck me wrong, as all. Do you think she's been rolling with the wrong crowd? Does it matter? I'd say she was rolling with the wrong crowd, but obviously she's now. Or maybe she still is. I... You never know. Oh, I just realized you're fine. I don't see that as a problem. <laughs> <laughs> she was fairly forthcoming with us. Yeah, mm. she was, she's been fairly forthcoming, but yeah, I just, I just noticed that and thought maybe you guys would like to know as well. Good to know. Okay. 
Sounds gonna, like Owen O'Shall knew she was a bandit too, since she said that he didn't like that lifestyle. Yeah. Hmm. Jubilee, how close are we to the woods? Um, it's about a twenty-minute walk till you get to the edge of the forest. So is it just like a big field at the front of the um town, or? Yeah, I'll uh, so, okay. yeah, I'll put it on the map. Put you guys yeah, right. there. Um, this is where the la that tent is. This is you haven't kind of where changed our map. I'm gonna put you on it. <laughs> Everybody's so impatient. Jesus. <laughs> Don't forget me if it doesn't bring me. Hurry up. No. God, so slow. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. I'm here. Thank you. Oh. I have to move oh you all individually because my macro broke. Ooh. Pain. Is pain. Gross. So this is. Have you tried not uh, rowing your Mac so hard? Nope. Um, this is the spot where that last tent is. This square is going to be that tent, just because I didn't want to make a map with the tent on it if it's not going to be there forever. So that's what that square is. Okay. Big ass yeah. tent. Okay. And you know, pretty luxurious. Which... Yeah, pretty luxurious. You know, that's some Weasley stuff right there. <laughs> I, I'm going to head with whoever the non tracking team is. And okay. Yeah, I'll be heading down here. Post. Uh, Do you guys separate, want me to if I might just... fly and look around? I presume. Oh, yeah. Use, use those wings, little owl. May I just make a suggestion before we separate, my friends? If the tracks lead you towards the forest, maybe come get us. Because uh, well, dogs, way. cute. Werebears, bad. Very bad. Yes. We'll let you guys yes. know what we find. Don't you worry. If you get into trouble, scream cinnamon bun. <laughs> I'm not screaming no. cinnamon bun. You will be screaming cinnamon bun. <laughs> we'll make, the, we'll the we'll make, we'll make Flappy do it. Just we'll we'll send Flappy oh, to you. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. <laughs> Alright, good luck, gentlemen. Okay, so as you guys um, approach the tent, you see a beautiful woman kind of peek her head out from the flap of the tent she's um young like you know 20s 25 she's got very long straight blonde hair and bright green eyes diastri are you with the party or you're tracking i'm tracking okay never lucky all right then. Lucky. <laughs> sorry bud <laughs> Did I hear cinnamon bun? <laughs> <laughs> I heard something about buns. I, I think my mom said cinnamon bun. I'm going to go check it out. Um, as she peeks out, she sees uh, Angramar. It's the first thing that she notices. And she looks at you and she's like... We are standing in in height order. In height order. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> would, the, would the crocodile riding gnome be taller than me? <laughs> when he's on yes because i ride on the tail i ride on the tail and it's up completely <laughs> like a scorpion so, like it like scorpions and yes over. That. can can crocodiles do that <laughs> they can in D, &D. <laughs> i yeah. guess ah, D &D it's crocodiles. a scorpion crocodile hybrid well <laughs> she um game. yeah she looks at you you see fear on her face um and she's like are you here to eat me? And she's talking directly <laughs> to the to Angramar, like not paying attention to any of you guys at all. I'm going to use minor illusion to uh, make a response come out from Angramar's <laughs> mouth. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the save on that? <laughs> that is a great question. Uh, it, they can determine if it's an illusion when they're successful. Uh, well, since it's just a sound, I don't know if, well, an illusion sound. Uh, spell save DC 12. Spell save DC 12. What is the save, though? Uh, Int, Wiz, Charisma. Uh, invest intelligence. Intelligence? Okay. Investigation, also... if she's... For kicks and giggles, can I also roll a save? 
Um, yeah, you can. She knowingly okay, <laughs> looks to you, Ignis, and she goes, Ah, I appreciate what you're trying to do, Gnome, but your tricks don't work on me. I highly doubted they would, madam. Um, may I ask who you are? Who I am is not important. Who are you, and why have you come to my tent? Who I am is important, but I asked first. Fair game, fair game. I'm just a traveler. You win this one. Is that <laughs> Can I roll an insight on that? Uh, I would like to roll an insight on that too. 16. Okay. And three. three. <laughs> I'm going to live in bliss about just not knowing whether she's speaking truthful or not. Um, Rainier, you can tell that she's definitely trying to hide something. You, yeah. she's very evasive. She doesn't want to tell your, she doesn't want to um, tell you her name or anything. She seems as though she feels like she's being scrutinized here and you, she gets a little uneasy. She's like, you can see she's kind of like looking back at her tent. Like maybe she should start packing it up. I uh, would like to kind of step forward and it's like, uh, like kind of, like hands kind of aside, it's like shields on my back, swords in its sheath. It's like, don't worry, ma'am. We're just coming with the chaos that happened yesterday in town. We wanted to come and check and make sure everyone was okay, but it looks like quite a few had already packed up and left. And seeing that you were the only tent left, we were worried that something may have happened last night, and wanted to check and make sure you were okay. Me? Oh, um, I'm fine. I just, I'm slow. I, I procrastinate. I wasn't ready to move on just quite yet, but I can start packing up if the town would prefer that we sort of clear oh, no. this area. No, no, not at all. Not at all. They, uh, uh, in fact, I was advised to, uh, and can I, can we say that, like, uh, I was advised to let you know that the market is still open if you wanted to kind of swing back into town and pick up things before your journey um later on today or staying for a few days either one is okay uh and that the guards will kind of be increasing patrols out here uh just in case of any more risk of goblin attacks um, when you bring up the guards stay increasing her face kind of drops um a little bit but hold on one second to those of you who are tracking okay. are you guys looking for dogs or bears Dogs. Yes. Or lions. Or lions. For the dog. Okay, go ahead and roll yeah. uh, survival checks. Why wouldn't you say both? Can I just yeah, look I for insight yeah. or perception oh, to see if I Deostri. notice anything Deostri. out? Nicely if done. somebody wants to okay. aid Deostri, then he can get um, advantage yeah, and then he I'll, will crit on that. Yeah, oh, I'll, 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 I'll aid him. Yeah, I got one. I read Okay, also... so with your 25 survival check, you see a few things. Number one, you can see all the tracks of all the people as they kind of left the camp. Um, you can see that there were dog paw prints, footprints, and they don't act normally. Like normally dog footprints, you know, they go in a line. You can see the four feet as the dog moves. These footprints actually just jump erratically like you'll see a couple going this way and then nothing and then all of a sudden they re the trail reappears over here and then you see it a couple steps and then nothing and then over here you see more things going away and then nothing as you continue to follow the footprints you don't notice it going in any specific direction it's not like heading towards the forest or heading towards the town as you look around you do notice a set of tracks though leading to this tent where your party members are there is a set of footprints that look humanoid and mid stride they get smaller they go from like being big heckin' clompers to like cute little dainty feet. So they've like tracked up and then all the way back around and like ended up at our tent. 
with that? Essentially, yes. Oh. Mm. So if you guys follow them all the way, that's where you would get to. The dog uh, paw prints are all localized within this like field area. They don't go to the road. The um and they go kind of close because like this field on this side right down here is where the road is that leads by Higalela's house, and so that's where the um she saw the dog from her window was like in this field across the the lane. Okay. Can I ask um like how long have you been in town here, and how long are, were you planning on staying? I have only been in town for a few days for the flower festival. I was planning on leaving today or tomorrow, but this lovely gentleman here, and she like looks at Rainier, has welcomed me to stay for as long as I wish. Perhaps I will go to the market. Uh, flapping. Now, ma'am, I... Oh, sorry. With a 21 perception, you notice that something is off about this woman. You can't tell exactly what it is, but she seems to almost, her image almost seems to like flicker and shift a little bit before your eyes. As you kind of stare at her, things just don't add up. The way that her clothing fits on her body, it seems like it's like, like copy pasted, like a bad Photoshop job. Go ahead, Ignis. Now, ma'am, I can't help but notice a little earlier you mentioned that uh, you use the word we will leave if you have to. Are you not alone in that tent? Oh, oh it's a big tent. <laughs> Good I'm, observation. I'm never alone, but no, I'm not traveling with anyone quite yet. So there would be no one in that tent with you? No. Would you Can like I introduce myself and, and roll for investigation? <laughs> Sure. Okay, so you guys are going to walk up now? Yeah, we'll walk up. Okay. Can I, uh, do, do I, uh, with a passive, because I'm, I'm wanting to pay attention to the conversation, with a passive perception of 12, would I be able to, like, kind of get a sense that they're coming up to us? Yeah, yeah, you can sense them kind can of I, coming up behind you. Since I already kind of used an insight check and got, like, the indication that she's hiding something, is there a way I can, like, God, I wish I was a thief, so I knew thieves can't, but I, can I, like, give them some kind of can I like reach behind and scratch my head and kind of do like this kind of motion or like like a weird like uh I want to try to signal to them subtly something's off that sh something's off okay you can try to do something behind your back some sort of symbol or something um roll a sleight of hand to see if she can if she says <laughs> And can I can I roll another inside check when she says um, that she's not alone? Yeah, sure, roll. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that one, double nat <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, wow. Okay. That is pretty uh, disgusting. Uh, so of hand your, is a one. Yeah, with your crit fail sleight of hand. Well, it's not a crit fail because you have a minus two. She totally sees what you're doing, and she goes. <laughs> Um, are you okay? <laughs> and she thinks you're just no, acting really sorry. Weird. I, uh, I have jitters from the war with the orcs. Mm. Pity. It happened. The insight check, he said. You can tell she's getting in really shifty. She does not like being grilled. When you um, you're insight checking her, asking if she was alone or not. Yeah, you like get about the sense that particular. That she's alone now. She was not previously, or she's expecting someone else to show up. Either way, she's alone in this exact instance, but there is another entity or person that knows that she is here or will be coming back to her or whatever the case is. Diastri, when you walk up, the card that you pulled yesterday at Telvu the Mystic was the Empress. Oh, no, no, no. You pulled the High Priestess. High Priestess. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, Arthur pulled the Empress. So when yeah. you walk up, Arthur, she her face looks exactly like the card that you pulled from Telvu the Mystic. You had a vision <laughs> about that last night. Yeah, no, I do. I remember that. <laughs> She's a carbon copy of it. 
Um, okay. Um, still sort of, uh, I guess. It's like magic. Yeah, it's like magic. Ah, what do we do? Um, well, Can hey, I... uh, guys, uh, thank you. We were just asking a few questions here, but did you find the dog? Um, there was a lot of tracks. We we so, saw some tracks of, but uh, we uh, we're gonna. After like visually is like take a look again. You see him constantly like flick his eyes flicker over towards the person and back towards the conversation. Can I, while this yeah. is happening as well, like after gleaning that information with my insight check, can I like do an investigation check to see um like the footprints? Because is it like quite muddy around? Um, like the it's not necessarily the tent? muddy, but you it's it's like grassy, so you can see when there's tracks because the grass gets all matted down. Um yep. there are patches of dirt. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, I just wanna see um if there's like multiple sets of footprints coming to and from this tent. God dang it. With a ten, um and you were with the party tracking, correct? No, I was with the, um, the um talking okay, people. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, um, what you can tell from the tracks is there's one set of tracks that go into her tent. The uh dog paw print tracks are nowhere to be found. Okay. Do the do the footprints that I can see look like a man or a woman's? They're they're dainty little feminine footprints. Okay. Do you uh, that's, yeah, that... This is the the clomping footprints that you saw that then suddenly transformed into little footprints. The, the little footprints, this yeah. Is, these are the little footprints and where they led. And they transformed from big to little about here, like a few, you know, a couple paces away from the tent, like not close to it, but. How long ago did um, Muriel say that she was attacked? Uh, six days ago. Six days. Okay. <laughs> Listen, um, I hate to be so rude as you guys are here to check on me and my safety. However, I must ask, are you investigating me? Oh, absolutely not, ma'am. And I would like to do a deception roll. Okay. Uh, ma'am, we were simply asked to... Uh, check up on you by uh, Reeve Wilmot, who we are staying with, and he asks us to kind of assist with the guard work, and we want to ensure your safety and kind of check up on the field, and we were looking for signs of goblins specifically, uh, and we have not found any, as uh, they have, as my companions here have pointed out, and uh, we were just kind of, if you would rather we convene uh, away, off on more towards the road, we would gladly do so. Uh, it was this was more out of convenience near your tent since we were asking you a few questions anyway. Um, and deception roll sixteen. 16. All right, she seems a little <clears throat> sated um, by that. <sighs> However, she looks at Hisun after he noticed this insight check, and she looks at you and she's like, "You know a little bit about the darkness." Doesn't everybody? Can, like, am I able to, like, sort of, like, after I notice that, am I able to try and, like, hide that I noticed it and not make it visible? Or is that, like, too retroactive? No, Because I didn't you, say you that can. at the start. Um, you can do a deception. Yeah, I would like to. Because, I mean, like, I would have tried to, like, after I noticed that, I would have tried to be, like, you know, act as normal as possible. Yeah, exactly. I didn't you're wanna, sitting like, there with like, your away. mouth open agape, like, oh. Yeah. <gasps> YouTube clickbait. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. She would, she still, so she doesn't notice that you notice her, but mm -hmm. she she still asks about the darkness. Yeah, I just, yeah, respond. Like, hasn't, hasn't everybody? Everybody has, like, a little bit of darkness in their lives. All right, all right. Nobody's perfect. Um, Me, I'm standing next to a paladin. I'm just yeah. sorry, we haven't <laughs> just wandered over here. Did we get your name by any chance? Uh, no. No, you did not. 
But I know your name. Is that so? Then what is my name? You are Arthur. You come Henry from is starting to get a little impatient. That used to live amongst the humans. I had met one of your ancestors. How do you know of me? It came I to haven't me seen you around before. In a dream. Have you never had a dream? Well, lots of, I'm sure everyone's had dreams before. Is this person human? Like, do they, or do they, like, do they look human? Yeah, she's, uh, yeah, know, okay. fair skin, long, straight blonde hair. Looks exactly Yeah, the like description hard. could, like, for some reason was making me think of an elf. And, um, yeah. But, okay. Well. Um. Arthur sort of like visibly gets a bit nervous now, unsure what to say next. Do we have anything left to say to this person? I don't think so. Not in, and I'm. This is out of character. Not in front of her. <laughs> in front of her, yeah. yeah, I agree. <laughs> well, we yeah, don't think we want we do talking it? in front of her. Can I do an investigation check? Yeah, let the let the trap let the trackers figure some stuff out since we haven't done that. Awesome well, you seem to know my name. I think it would only be fair if I get to know your name. You don't <laughs> notice nothing. God. You crit fail. You like Damn, you're dude. trying to look at the suns like in your eyes. You're like I don't know. Um, I don't usually give my name out to strangers. You must understand, a woman by herself traveling, it's dangerous. Are you, are you really strangers if you know him? Like, you, you know his name, if I believe it's only fair. Something tells Poppy it's only dangerous for the people with you, not you. Oh. Can I, Ghibli, oh. can I do a Divine Sense? Yes. Okay, so Divine Sense... Good. And I, I'm, I'm just kind of, I would like to, I'd like to kind of step back and kind of, kind of nod to the woman and kind of step away and step back towards the back of the group. That way she doesn't see me kind of reach up to my holy symbol when I do this. Yeah, I'm going to stand in front of him and kind of block his view so that she doesn't see him. Yeah. But I'm only, yeah. but I'm only four feet tall, so he just like tells. No, 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 no. My holy, my, my holy symbol is on my belt. My holy symbol is on my belt. <laughs> she is not a. So like I can, I'm just fuddling with. She is not a fiend, and she is not undead. Okay. Well, I'm saying dang, but, but she is she, concentrating. She does emanate a slight magical aura. I. Uh. I don't think that's actually part of it, but thank you. Well, stranger, you mentioned traveling alone. It must be very dangerous for you to be out here all by yourself. And as I'm saying that, I grab the pommel of my sword and where all the you know teeth are dangling from. And this is kind of like a, a, a slight intimidation tactic. So I can roll intimidation. <laughs> yeah, for that. all right. Oh, oh. God damn! She is very intimidated. She kind of takes a little step back, kind of closer to you know the flap of her tent. She still has one hand on it, and she's like, "Well, Dragonborn, I have learned how to defend myself. If you would care to find out, we're not here to fight. We just want your name." Her social security number, email. Mm. I don't. Oh, Give <laughs> out my name. Only my sisters and I know each other by our true names. Oh no. <laughs> but you may call me whatever you wish. Uh, Give me a nickname. Many others do. Then minerals. 
Blondie. You are now a cinnamon roll. <laughs> She's holding up the flap of the tent. Is she like completely standing in the way where if I tried, I can't like see slightly no, into you the can tent look at all? Inside of the tent. Um, there is a bedroll. There's a small backpack. Um, there is like a walking, a wooden staff, kind of quarter staff, like walking stick. Um, that's about it. You can see, you know, she definitely had some food in there. There's a couple, you know, remnants of like some crust of bread and stuff like that. Since she's holding the flap open, I'm going to call her Flappy. That, that's her name. We, we already have a Flappy. <laughs> Yeah, two. Yeah, well, there's two now. But what well, about second Flappy? <laughs> after after failing to get her name, I just kind of turn around and shrug to Ramir. Just walk back to his side. Yep. And I would say, yeah, where whereabouts on like the tent is like she standing? Like here? Yeah, or, right in front of you like, guys, right there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. Okay. So we saw. Cool. Um, can I like kind of subtly lean over and whisper into uh, uh, Canary's ear? Uh, uh, and I just want to kind of subtly let him know um, uh, she's hiding something. Not entirely sure what. Are you guys walking away as you say this, or are you doing it like in front of her? <clears throat> I would, uh, I'd like to begin walking away and kind of head over towards where we initially split up. I would say probably back over here, because at this point in time, if we're not going to like turn this into a full on and uh, full on interrogation, I would say that is like we should probably kind of slowly walk, kind of back this off personally mm. that's just me okay i wonder if we could enlist those two kids to uh spy on her for us they like money they were pretty motivated by gold oh you do have um, a rogue as well don't we we do and he is quite stealthy um, I'm just I'm pondering something. Sorry. Um, wonder if I should ask something now. Does not do well under though. interrogation, though. <laughs> At this point, I'm I'm already kind of walking back to like where Rainier was kind of talking about. Yeah. Uh, so you guys of... like you guys are walking away. Yeah. Slowly, it's more like think of it like kind of. You know how if you're at a party and there, there's suddenly, like, two people... Uh, like, you have a group of, like, seven people, and eventually it turns into a group of four people and a group of three people on the other side of the room, and it's still one party that everyone's hanging out at, but it's two entirely different conversations. Yeah. That's what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Ignacy, are you looking at the chat right now? <laughs> <laughs> or could you? <laughs> no, like, the the chat in Roll20. Oh, the chat in yeah. Roll20. Yeah. The don't the the anti Ghibli chat. <laughs> yeah. Anti Ghibli chat? What? <laughs> I can just take my that... headphones off and then you guys can like. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, it, that would that would probably make it like a little bit easier than doing. Um... Should I go okay, pee while on. you guys have a combo? Where... Hey. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, right, yes. DM yes. is leaving the building for like two minutes. If I come back and I put my headphones on, if it's a bad time, just yell no, 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 no. No. Uh, okay, it shouldn't take long. Where is this anti Ghibli chat? I need it. I'm just whispering. We're, we're whispering. Oh, you're whispering. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you think there's like a separate uh, chat that you guys are all chatting? Was like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, we could say something like that on maybe. The... <laughs> it's cause it's tough because of like the meta thing. Because Ignis Hassoon and I have no idea about the tracks. Because no. that's gonna turn violent real quick. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I've I've learned yeah. enough that I'm like pretty shady on a, and I have friends. Oh yeah, and yeah. Ignis has charm person. Which I'm down my for either, personally. My one concern, I... which might be a little metagame, I'm not quite sure, 
but like she seems like she's pretty good at keeping the truth and she has and a good amount of willpower. I'm, that's exactly geez. my that's uh, that's I'm, why I said do we risk it? I'm catching on Flappy's uh perception check cuz Flappy found out that they that she yeah. doesn't uh that she has this weird chirping go- thing going on and I'm like is this even a person we're talking to? Yeah. Mm. I mean or uh, I mean it ha- like yeah. this She's isn't not. a minor illusion or it's like yeah, but is this, this like this is some sort of glamour. Glamour? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to start any sort of scuffle now. I want to ask a few more questions. Well, um, Arthur would like to ask a few more things. If, really if like she's that observant yeah. enough, I could try to sneak into the tent. If she said we can go in. in. Yeah, that's the thing. We should she probably, like, distract her and have someone, she like... She said that we can go in. Oh, she did. I bet. She invited us in. To yeah, have a look. she did. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. But, she, um, okay. Do we want? Yeah. To... I think if, but she's also pretty sketched out on us, Should like yell at investigating right now? her. Yeah. Is she sitting so. down? But yeah, she. Um, oh, she's back. No, she not quite yet. Not quite yet. Give us good. Everything spoiled. But yep. yeah, she got she got um like shady when like she thought we were investigating her, and um and Rainier kind of sold her that we weren't. Well, it, yeah. it, she she straight up called my intimidation too, so it's not like it's yeah, she's, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. intelligent. I think this is something. I, I yeah. would well, say, like, like, could she said it no. was dangerous out on the road for women? It's like more dangerous for her companions than her. So, <laughs> charm person gives us an hour. Though. Yeah, that's if you can charm. Assu- them. Yeah, that's it's yeah. Person, yeah. Like, <laughs> well, uh, a bit too much. It works on humanoids. I would she, also she kind of say, She's in the human from a lawful form. point of view, she hasn't done anything yeah. against we haven't, she hasn't us. Done yeah, honestly, yeah. So, um, I say we get more information. The, uh, yeah, my only thing yeah, is, we like, need, we need more info. She is, what if she's she lying to no, us. I'm still sketched out. Yeah, I'm just that. I think she's absolutely. She's, she's lied to lying. us multiple times. She's lied to <laughs> yeah. us multiple times. Yeah. She is shady. She's hiding something. She's here with somebody else. I'm mm. confused about the track situation. Yeah. Well, perhaps she would be more willing to speak to Arthur by himself, seeing as though she's already been intimidated. Him as a victim. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. Friend. I was about to leave anyway. If we weren't going to cast friends or something on her, then as well. Yeah. Do we yeah, want... As we were leaving, I was just going to turn and as the as a tracker and also not being involved in the conversation at all yet, other than just doing an investigation. Yeah. Um, just as we turned to leave, I was just going to ask if she'd seen a dog just to as, yeah, as an offhanded question that is, is also kind or of a. a... <laughs> well, I, 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 th- I think we want to just kind of leave it at the dog because it's it's w- much more innocent and not. We're not trying and to we, get information about her. We're just offhandedly, you know, asking, "Hey, we've got a good, you know, this 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 lady in the in town was looking yeah, for exactly. this, what she well, presumes is a stray dog. Well, Have you by chance seen?" Say no, regardless of whether you guys are going to leave or not, Arthur is still going to stay behind and try to ask a few more things. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah. you you think that she's going to be more receptive of you when you're by yourself? Maybe. I think it makes sense for us to all leave and you to stay behind. Yeah, it's it's just kind of a disarming tactic um, yeah. as far we'll as stay within reach though, so we can hear. From yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna. Like I'm just gonna head over so to don't, the center. <laughs> don't forget to say for Ghibli back. Send it. Yeah, it's Ghibli can come back. Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. <laughs> cinnamon buns. So, so Arthur, you're gonna be stay behind them. Shot. I I want to ask a few more random things. But yeah. Yep. All right. Not so okay. much related um, to what we were talking wait. about. Related to what? She mentioned about me. <laughs> That's all. Okay. As uh, I, as I leave, can I can I ask about the dog? Since I since I was on the tracking side, I want, and that's what we were doing when we arrived at the tent. That's what I would like to do before I step away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what about those? I also let the non trackers know about the tracks uh, leading to the back of the the tent. As we're the, back, the back, the back of the tent, or the front of the, the tent. It was to the front of the tent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The well, shimmering the front, glamour. Front, yeah. Um, okay. Arthur and Diastri were staying back at the tent. The rest of us were going to head back to where, like, close to the big rock. Yeah, I'm. I'm basically so. turning to leave, <laughs> but I'm going to ask a question right before I do, and then leave Arthur okay. uh, by himself. And just go out of here, shot. But... <sighs> Okay. Um, I just wanted we as we came up to the tent here, we we've been out looking for uh, a 
lost dog or stray dog that uh, was uh, told to us by um, somebody in town. Have you happened to see a dog out here? Uh, this is where we uh, were last told it was. Oh, I have seen him, yes. Is, is he friendly? Uh, to me, he was, yes. I don't know where Boy. he came from, but I saw him over there, and she kind of points to like where one of the set of tracks was. How, how does she manage to be suspicious even when answering a question? Like that? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she does this a good job. Dog. He's dead. I ate him. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I didn't. Who's to say? <laughs> maybe my sisters ate him. <laughs> but I'm alone. Okay. Well, thank, thank you for the information. We'll we'll, we'll keep looking. Would you like some mystery meat stew? Mystery oh. meat stew. Um... Oh no, I'm far gone. No, oh, it's far gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> She's like the kind of lady that if you were like, "Can I go to the bathroom?" She'd be like, "I don't know. Can you?" Can... Oh, God. Yeah. I hate people like no. that. Don't give no. me memories of high school. No. Okay. Um... <laughs> My high school handcuffs on, lady. Please take them off. Um, by, by high school, I learned the the trick to that. It's like, okay, fine. You'll have to call the janitor in in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Teachers are teachers are much much more applicable. Not so applicable, you guys uh, all left, and it's whatever just the Arthur word is at the time. It is just me now. Yes. Yeah. Um, we're keeping a close eye though, in case he gets ravished. Yeah, probably just out of earshot. Yeah. Okay, so just I oh, rock. <laughs> We're doing that mm -hmm. weird, like, uh, and this half is how his character dies. We're all pretending to do something, but we're not actually doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we can catch each other up on everything that we learned, because yeah, yeah. Um, you said you saw me in a vision. Did this vision happen to come just just last night? Why, well, yes, it did. I believe mm -hmm. our fates are intertwined. May I ask what happened in the vision? What exactly did you see? I saw that you would come to me and ask a question, but you have not asked it yet. <laughs> okay. Not sure what type of question I will be asking, um, but uh, earlier when you implied dreams, you were correct. The previous night, I did have some sort of vision during the night. Well, not not it was yeah, so sort of during the night, um, I saw you. You were sort of like staring out into this like sunset. You had the sort of description. Don't get something. What did I say? Um, but sort of. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, you sort of had this like crown on and some sort of big green gem, and you sort of held your hand out and had these vines coming out, reaching out for me, and then the vision just sort of ended. I don't quite understand. Like this, and you see little vines. Little first, they look like little green sprouts, like little bean sprouts or something and eventually they just keep growing and growing and growing and growing would we be would we be able to see this yeah from if you from guys are distance? watching yeah you see that um yeah you do from where you guys are i think you're within vision of her i would say are they like the vines until he says towards me or uh they're just growing up out of her hands right now, vertically. Okay. I I kind of remind everybody that until he says uh, cinnamon buns, we shouldn't rush in. I no, I attack yeah. right now. <laughs> I still can't believe we went with cinnamon buns. <laughs> what happens yeah, if the vines like gag him or something? Sneak around behind the rock and disappear from view. All right, roll stealth. <laughs> Ooh. Would you be more comfortable? I'd only be on a slight disadvantage. Oh, nice. Nice stealth. Would you be more comfortable telling me a, na your, a name or a, your name or a name you often go by since it's just me here now? 
I would rather you tell me your name, the one that you seek. Arthur, would you, uh, would you like us to take off our headsets? Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, if no one meta games, it shouldn't be a meta. <laughs> it shouldn't. Uh, uh, you guys, if you want to, it's up to you. I don't really mind. Uh, I am seeking <laughs> the Starclaves, yes. What do you know of them? I happen to know that they have traveled to many planes, including the Feywild. Uh, do you know why they traveled to the Feywild? I have no idea. But they are dangerous. I've also learned bits and pieces. Um, most people don't really tell me as much as you do, but I've overheard conversation of what appears to be some sort of Starcleaver hold in Alterheim. Then you are a fool if you wish to go seek it out. And in your head, you hear a slight screeching, and it echoes, a fool! I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. A wisdom saving throw? Mm-hmm. Uh, 16. All right. You hear the voice echo, but that's it. You felt um, a mental intrusion, but it didn't uh, cause you any actual um, pain. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Cinnamon buds. Cinnamon buds. <laughs> Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns, I need help. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, someone what? DM. Someone what are DM we, where Flappy. are we at? Oh, God. Uh, someone DM Life. Flappy. He walked off to oh. get... He, he went on a break. I never oh, rolled God. over initiative. Oh, shit. I just see what's on the screen. <laughs> uh, what are... Oh, oh shoot. I forgot initiative? to... Uh, uh, do oh, we have... Hags, dude. This town's a fucking cursed. Apologies, <laughs> oh, one second. I'm very um, worried. I'm scared. Guys, help. <laughs> it's, uh... It's click the click our token on the map and then roll initiative? And then, yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, click our token okay. on the map and That's then... That's what yeah. it was at this. Wait, how do you click this? Oof! Okay, hang on. Yep. I'll reroll. Re 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 that should've... Ah, uh, there we go. Now I appear. You wanted oh, to, it said I wanted... Rain it, dude. Uh, I'm not... It's trying to, but it said no valid token was selected, but I'm clicking so on the you token. To click on your token on the map, and then go to your character sheet, and then click initiative. Oh, you know what? I took the character sheet to a separate, like, Firefox window. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It still works, it still works. It should still That's work, yeah. Yeah, you just yeah, as long as your token. As long as your character doesn't unselect did itself. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll do it Oh, later. crap. <clears throat> no. Oh, yeah. Um... We're rolling initiative, Flappy. Oh, God. There it is. <laughs> We're rolling Sorry, initiative. I see her okay. Her like yeah, her icon now. Okay. Okay. She, oh, we should have yeah. just had the ruler selected. Bobby, you have to it. click your token and then roll initiative. I'll take my three since oh, I. Oh, God, that's going to be difficult. <laughs> Tokens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Oh, um, that initiative did. Oh, you're going to change it. The original initiative was a one. Ooh. Uh, it, no, was it was an, an eight, eight, actually. actually. Yeah. Oh, eight? But okay. I failed. I, I screwed up the token thing twice in a row. That's okay. And then everyone else has their appropriate initiatives as they should be? Yeah. Yep. Alright, so that's going to bring us to Flappy. You have... Okay, I need a slight explanation of what's going on. Okay, I'm about to get to it. So, you guys all walked off. You hid behind the rock and Arthur's just talking to this um 
you know, this woman, all of a sudden, he kind of does like a, he kind of holds his head a little bit, and um, you didn't say cinnamon buns, right, Arthur? Uh, I would have said I'd start, like, after I would I started saying cinnamon buns, I reckon. So he did say cinnamon buns, and so you know that that's code word for let's go. Um. <laughs> Why do we go with cinnamon buns? I love that that's going to last the entire campaign. It is going to last the yep. entire campaign. Oh, um, <laughs> I'll ask this now. Is her character icon doesn't look like the person you were describing. <laughs> so as that, as he was saying cinnamon buns, she shifted. And now she is a much taller, ganglier, not as feminine looking, green skin, dark green, dark green gray matted ratty looking hair she actually grew like a foot and a half taller she's got this big hook nose huge bags under her eyes her hands are disgustingly long lanky fingers with very sharpened dirty nails at the end of each finger her clothes have changed from, you know, just like cute townspeople clothes to rags with holes in them, barely covering most of her body. She looks skinny, like her bones, like she's all bones and loose skin. I can so, fix uh, her. Arthur's uh, dead. Do we uh, just Arthur go just, back to town? <laughs> <Arthur just laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what are, What are we doing here? Are we doing this? Are we doing this? Arthur just on repeat is screaming this. cinnamon buns, cinnamon buns, cinnamon buns. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You well, should never Poppy... put your trust in people you just met yesterday. Why did Poppy Poppy was the code to... word for us to leave? Actually, <laughs> he's about, words. Um, beside his rock. <laughs> Going to ready up his bow, and he's going to attempt to sneak attack and hit her hit her with the short bow. Okay. You have to be more behind the rock, though, because right now you're not yeah. behind any cover. So. All right. Fine. I'm behind the rock. Okay. Good. <laughs> what's the length? What's the range would, on would your Would this bow? be considered behind the rock still? Uh, I think it's 60. If he wants to cr you know, crouch and stand up. Uh, well, like he's like three, three feet, feet tall. tall right? Yeah. It's 80. Yeah. Yeah. It's 80, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. You shoot from behind the rock. You hit her. Uh, the arrow actually penetrates into her shoulder. Are you rolling sneak attack damage on that as well? I will be if I can get there it. To, there know. we go. So you hit her for 12, okay? She yeah. shrieks. She looks up at you and snarls. Is there anything else that you would like to do with your turn? I'd like to um, flap my wings suggestively. <laughs> Interesting. Does that just does that successfully distract her? No, she's in she's, she's in battle guys. mode, dude. She's in battle she's, mode. Yeah. She's got an arrow sticking. I don't up think suggestively. Yeah. Uh... Uh, let's see. Battle mode should be in flapping mode. What do I roll to see if I can, if like, to see like if she's even phased by that roll up sneak attack? Twenty one. Um, she believes herself to be in a good position. She was definitely injured. You see a little trickle of dark dark black almost blood trickling out of the wound she's not super injured by it but uh it did hurt her okay i want to attack with my longbow all righty go ahead and roll to hit that hits go ahead and roll damage all right so you shoot her you hit her more in the thigh she shrieks again. Now she's got two arrows, both on the same side of her body, sticking out one in her shoulder, one in her thigh. Um, she is not limping or anything. It does seem to injure her, though. Is there anything else that you would like to do with your turn? I'd move behind the rock and hide. Um, do you have stealth? Do you have stealth as a or um hide as a bonus action? Because you've already taken your action. No. I okay. don't. Well, then you can just move behind the rock, sure. 
Okay, I'm gonna move over here. Oh, good, grab me. Could I have me token? Yes, come flat Could off behind be the rock token. with me. And then that brings us off. to Ignis. Uh, I'm going to move forward. Uh, I am going to send my crocodile scampering off. Tell him to run and hide and go bye-bye. Uh, can I do an arcana check to see if I can tell kind of what she is? Yeah, go ahead. Roll an arcana check. Crit. Oh. Crit. Oh. Well, she's a green hag. She is a fey creature corrupted uh, from the fey wild. And um, what you know about them is, is that they usually travel in covens. And she is by herself, so her power is a bit limited without her sisters. She can cast spells. She is a spellcaster. And I think that's she emanates um, different types of magics. She was hiding herself previously with, uh, you know, type of illusory magic. And, uh, yeah. That's... So she's used a spell slot, guys. We've got the advantage. Uh, <laughs> Cheesy way. I am way. going to say to the group, uh, she's a hag. We should kill her before her sisters come, and then we should probably kill her sisters, too. Wait, she has sisters? Can they all use that magic? Together, yes. Separately, yes. So we should just not deal with that. Uh, oh, and I'm going to Elder Blast her. I mean, we could have had a good time. I'm going to I don't Eldritch know why Blast. I just read Eldritch Blast as in large breasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With a, she could look like anything you want. <laughs> with a 10 to hit, you miss wildly. You actually hit the tent behind her. Um, it damages the tent, but she kind of looks at you and smirks like, hmm. Oh, bitch. Oh, she did the jibbly <laughs> smirk. This bitch is dying now. Is there anything else yeah. that you would like to do with your turn? That is it for me. All right, then that means that it's her turn, and she is going to <coughs> look at, let's see, how far away are you? All right, so she's going to start speaking and Point her finger out at Arthur. Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. Is it cinnamon buns? Cinnamon buns. cinnamon buns or cinnamon rolls? Which one? Oh, wait, yeah, it was cinnamon rolls. <laughs> cinnamon buns. I'm just buttons. Cinnamon buttons. Now. <laughs> yeah, is the safe word or are we still role playing, guys? Make I'm not sure. Make a yet. wisdom saving throw, <laughs> Arthur. Oh, a wisdom saving throw? Did yep. you say? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. <laughs> You are effectively cursed. You have disadvantage on dexterity, ability checks, and saving throws. Um, Why would you need saving throws against a spellcaster? You, um, (laughs) let me, I'll just put it in the actual chat so you can see what it does. Not good. Oh, you can put it like a little lens thing. Uh, okay. And so all of these things apply to you. At the start of your turns, you can um, redo the wisdom saving throw. And if you fail okay. it, you don't do anything on your turn. Um, so Oof. that's okay. that. That's going to be her turn. And she's going to not even move. She just stands right there laughing maniacally. <laughs> like, you know, like the witch from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> so that's what you got, Rainier. The uh, one under the house? Yeah, yeah. The one, yeah. Can. Dead bitch. <laughs> uh, Arthur, I think Arthur can put like a little lens token thing that'll like pop up on his screen as like a reminder or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can. I yeah, can. Yep. You, it's, yeah. I, I could do it. Here yeah, it's l- Sweet. It okay. is cursed. Um, well, I have 60 feet of movement if I dash. And so I'm going to end up right. We really should have thought there. this through. 90 feet away was not a good idea. Well, yeah. Exactly. I, I, I wasn't expecting it to go into. I really wasn't expecting it to go to combat. Uh, me I don't know what. 
right, what happens like, oh, yeah, to I range? Wanna ask, I just want to talk to her, ask a few questions, and boom, there's a hang. <laughs> oh, and Arthur's dead. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. He was a good uh, character. Yeah, well. You had a great I think backstory. that's my turn. I just have, like, you know, sword, uh, shield and sword at the ready, and I just run full dash up to there. Excellent. Excellent. I just gotta say, hi, Ghibli Bibbles. Thank you for joining the stream. I've been trying to meet you for so long. Oh my god, I hate <laughs> yes! the to talk to Chad. Yes! This is really Ghibli Ghibli Bibbles! Bibbles! Oh my god. Ghi Ghibli, love Ghibli that. says, I'm the inferior. That's a lie. You're just, you're like, don't say, don't say All that. Ghiblis are created equal. All Ghiblis are created equal. All Ghiblis are created equal. <laughs> 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 we got okay. three, we got three Ghibles in here. Except for three if they start with an E. Um, if they spell it with an E, then they're weird. Yeah, they, they are. Nope, this is a Y, so, so we're all good. <laughs> Rainier, that's your full turn, correct? Do you want to ready an action yep, or that's anything? My... No, that my, I, I full dashed. I have 30 oh, feet of movement, bad, I ran bad, 60. Okay, right on. Yeah. Well, then that's going to bring us to Lion. Okay, so do I have to make any... Can I make another saving throw at the yeah, start Yeah, you have of to make a wisdom save. Okay. And if I fail, I can't do it. Do turn. anything on your turn. You got that inspiration. Yeah. Use it. 13. Oh, do I use my inspiration? I'm going to use my inspiration just to make sure I pass that with a 20. Okay, yeah. then nice. uh, you are able to um, take the curse off. Ooh. What a do I, dream. Do I get an action now and all that still? Or is that my turn? That... Nope, no, you get an action. That's 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 uh, just a thing okay. that happens. Uh, going to quickly pull out my shield and short sword, and I'm gonna take a big old slash at this bitch. Okay. Fifteen to hit. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen misses. She actually <laughs> catches your blade with her claws and knocks it aside. Oh. All right. Um, so yeah, that's my turn. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh no. That brings us to Hisun. Okay. So you kind of mess me up a bit here with your pathing, Rainier, but I should oh, be shoot. okay. You can should shoot be... around your allies. No, my spell is a straight line, and it oh, just hits gotcha. a target. Gotcha. Would that be considered, like, because she's sort of in between these two halves. Is she, like, in this... Oh. Is she in this square or yeah, this yeah. square? How about we just stick her? She's in this square. Is that better? That's right, yeah, so. that's perfect. <laughs> oh, that's actually that is, really good. That's you have options. Perfect. Now. So yeah, I can move to here. So I'm gonna move. Oh, hold up. I, I always am really bad at this. I always Got forget. It. So there. Gonna move myself 25 feet, <laughs> my full movement up to there, and then I'm just gonna reach into my bag, pull out my rock, and just shot put. And cast catapult straight at this thing, Ooh. and just uh, try my best to to smack her. What's it's a what's DC thirteen. Uh, uh, it is sixteen. Um, it's a what kind of save, Dex? Uh, I believe so. I would just have to quickly check because it doesn't tell me there for some reason. I wish it did. Uh yeah, Dex. Yeah, thirteen Dex save. <laughs> She crit succeeded. She got a 21. God oh, damn it. The rock just flies past and hits the tent then. Okay. Damn. And that's my turn then. I, I've got nothing else for a bonus action or anything. Alrighty. And that's going to bring us to Canare. Who snarls and says, I should have just cut this one's head off when I had a chance. Mm hmm. And just does a full dash. And uh, you can get should, to there. Should put me right, oh, right here. As I'm dashing, <laughs> pull out my uh, claw of Isorin, and that's my turn. Alrighty, and then that's going to bring us to Flappy. No good options here. Keep shooting. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'm just gonna uh, keep my covered position. <laughs> that cool. hits. Right. Go ahead and roll <laughs> the damage. Now, keep in mind that she knows that you're hiding behind the rock, so you're no longer stealthed. Oh. Ah, that's the wrong one. Does does he still get sneak attack because she's like technically engaged with Arthur though? 
So Ooh. we had ruled that you guys were going to do flanking, but that means that the enemies can do flanking as well. So, yeah. but it's, that's he, not really flanking well, so though. If, that's just like a... if he has advantage on her, he can get sneak attack damage. She's not technically flanked, but if you guys do flank her, then he would. Okay. Ooh. Okay. There we go. I remember how to do that again. And so that's, that's not damage. with sneak attack damage, correct? correct? That's not with sneak attack. That's just straight up eight plus one pierce. Okay. And so yeah, you shoot her again. This time, the way that she's turned to Arthur, it hits her in the back, and you see her just sort of, oof. But she's still not bloodied. Mm. She shrieks. She's in pain. Is there anything else that you would like to do with your turn? I... I'd be in the rock. Okay, that's it. Okay. Diastri, that brings us to you. All right, I will also attack with my bow from where I am. All right, go ahead and roll to hit. Are you behind this rock? Yes. So I'd... you're kind of like peering over the rock, so you're giving yourself cover? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, with a 14, that does not hit, unfortunately. Her armor class. <laughs> It's above That's 15. Yep. Is there anything else that you wish to do with your turn? Um, I'm going to go ahead and move my 35. Okie dokie. And, and that's, that's going to bring us to Ignis. I'm going to move forward 25 and just Eldritch Blast away. Excellent. Oh, you crit fail, dude! Um, oh my god, you hit Canaray. Roll damage. What? Oh, I no. have inspiration. You have inspiration? Oh, shh. You I have inspiration. Me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Look at this, guys. Look at this. That's the, funny. That's, the man gets, I love it. The man gets... I, uh, I have to scroll so that you guys can see it correctly. He got a crit fail and a crit succeed. That's actually awesome. Okay, go that's ahead and roll incredible. damage, but roll crit damage. So that's pretty badass. Woo! That's a uh, uh, thirteen to hit. It... Thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. Uh, Alrighty. Wow. We love that. And as I hit her, I'm gonna say to everyone, "Don't worry, guys. We have this hag in the bag. We have this hag <laughs> in the bag." Um, I actually, take nine damage for that. I'm, un I'm unconscious. You uh blast her after she insulted you on your uh last attack you actually just like pump forth super extra power you like super you know kamehameha her basically right exactly exactly and you actually see she was not expecting it she actually reels back a little bit and at this point she takes the full blast to the face it just whizzes over kanare's shoulder you were this close to hitting him and her, Sorry. her face is bloodied. You see that she is actually very injured at this moment, and she's kind of staggering. You have effectively bloodied the hag. I'm so sorry, hag. Is your face starting to sag? <laughs> <laughs> that's, is there uh, that's anything a crit else save. Um, that you would like to do with your turn? That one crit me. <laughs> that count as vicious mockery? <laughs> Um, you I off, really should take that. You marked. You should. I. You need to it. Okay. Yep. Good. That is going to bring it to her turn, and because you just blasted her in the face, she is going to. Um, let's see here. She wants to attack you. I just don't know if she has the range. And does she really want to move forward is the other question. I wave at her. <laughs> can she even see him behind the dragonborn? Oh, I'm a big boy. She can I'm see a big boy. Him. She can see him. <laughs> She's going to move forward, stepping up to Canaray. And she's going to just sort of peer to the side of you and she is going to stare at our boy Ignis and cast a spell 
I'll put it in chat so you guys believe me. You have to make a wow. DC 12 wisdom save. Save it. Please. Easy peasy. Oh. You got this. Oh no! Oh, oh my god! Dude, no! That's no! Dude, no. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, so I shouldn't sorry. use my inspiration for him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if we could <laughs> pump a couple into him, we could get a reroll. Uh, oh, no. Oh, God. You immediately fall asleep. You just... <sighs> she stares at you, and you just straight up feel the weight of sleep come over you. Holy some like Those bastards! That was um, Flappy's bit. He's supposed to be falling asleep. And if anyone asks me about this at the end of the fight, I will vehemently just say I used up so much energy in my attack that I just I needed a little nap. It wasn't her. It was me. <laughs> okay. That's going to bring us to Rainier. Okay. Um I am going to I have no idea what's going on behind me because I'm just running straight in. And I'm going to go... Uh, because I saw that where like the arrows and some of the spells are coming from, I'm going to go around to try to get to this side to leave like some bit open where she's okay. exposed and she kind of trap her flanked, in. By the way, just so you all know, you would all have advantage on melee Perfect. attacks against her. Okay. Melee attacks. Gotcha. Um, I would like to take... Yeah, I'd like to just uh, take a swing at her. And that's a crit. nat 20. Oh. Crit, 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 yes, roll damage. Nice. Uh, so 11. 11, okay. I wish I had smite, but that's not yet. Yeah. Are you the slicing her Cinderella. with your big longsword? Yes, I am. Okay, you um, are behind her. You, As she has her arm extended and she just put Ignis to sleep, you slice right across her back a Thick wound opens up and black blood oozes out. It starts staining the, you know, ragged garments that she's wearing, and you see her falter. Um, is there anything else that you would like to do with your turn? I uh I'd like to whisper, I'd like to say like into her ear behind her, saying, uh careful target targeting uh our friends over there when the three of us are here in front of you you know right after i cut her spine open <laughs> nice and you shall I... die for it <laughs> lion that's you it's my turn i'm just gonna take another oh, this, my short this would be poetic all right now you have poetic. advantage so go ahead i do and... have advantage yep <laughs> oh my God. She is Very in your wrong. head so badly, and you just saw her put Ignis to sleep. That as you go to try to poke at her with your sword, you're trying to slice and dice and stab, and she just looks at you, and you kind of freeze up, and she's able to kind of predict all of your movements. Unfortunately, is there anything else that you wish to do with your turn? Can't do anything else. Uh, I'll just that's my turn. Alrighty, Heeson. Um, so I'm just gonna, like, you know, yell out, like, hit something, and, uh, they just cast Mind Sliver with that, and it's just a DC, it's an intelligence save, I believe, uh, 13 intelligence save for Mind Sliver. She oh, beats it. it. She beats it this is the worst enemy for me to fight at level one. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. all my attacks are saves. <laughs> Damn. And they're all wisdom or intelligence. Uh, Sucks. She's not even that smart. She's not even done... that smart. What the hell? Yeah, that is true. Is At least you've done damage to her. Else you have to do with your turn? <laughs> oh, shit. No, I haven't. All right. Uh, yeah. No, that's all I can do. You're all right. Up. So she stepped up while I was kind of like mid sprint. So I'm going to take a two handed thrust with my, uh, my Ooh. great sword. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Thank God you have advantage. I'm gonna oh, use inspiration. Go I'm gonna use inspiration. No, no, you don't need it. You don't need it. You have advantage already. <sighs> oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. We love and roll, right. damn dams. 
All right. Twelve. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Damage. You Let's actually go. stab her through her abdomen. She shrieks, but you don't get any vital organs. You have killed enough things that when you thrust into her and then you pull it back out, you know that you haven't hit <laughs> any, you haven't hit the lungs or the heart, but you've definitely got her. You nicked her kidney. Um, she looks very pained as she's facing you. The blood, you know, the color starts draining out of her face, but she is still standing. Is there anything else that you wish to do with your turn? I just, I just yell, why won't you die? Excellent. <laughs> Flappy, you're up. Uh, I guess I'm going to run on over to Hison. Alrighty. Wake up! Wait, no, uh, it's not he said that. No, 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 keep it. I saw Bob only shake He's like, I'm awake. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> attack the hag. <laughs> God or, or attack. Ignis to wake him up. You can just shake oh, him. Oh, I can use my action to wake him up. Can you make it over to him? Yeah, I wasn't that far from him. You were really no, far from you him. were you were close this to me. Oh, he's here. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> look. I can't see. I can't see your icons. They all so small. So small. <laughs> so small. Here, here. Right, we're giving well, you a beacon. All right, screw that. Nobody cares about Ignis. We're just gonna. <laughs> we're just gonna... We're just gonna I shoot no the hag again. Sleep, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm kind of just paying attention gosh. to the big green mess. Twenty-two hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Whoa! Keep smacking. Eight. Keep smacking. Oh god. She is laboring to breathe. She is struggling. She is still standing. She at this point has like four arrows sticking out of her all over the place, and she's bleeding uh, from many different wounds. But she is actually still up and at him. Is there anything else you wish to do with your turn? Worst pin cushion ever. <laughs> and that's going to bring us to Diastri. Who wanted to die? All right, I'm gonna move up and attack. A 13 does not hit, unfortunately. Not... God damn it. <laughs> Is there anything else you wish to do with your turn? I'm just going to turn back and look at Ignis and be like, why is he sleeping? I thought he brought the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Ignis, it is your turn. You can make another wisdom saving throw. I actually don't think I can. I think he's yeah. just asleep for one oh, minute. Wait, oh, no, it can't. At the end of each of its turns, it can make another wisdom save. Nope, I oh, lied. Okay. No, you're right. Know. It's only if you're panicked, not asleep. My bad. you right. That's Thank only you. for panicking? Yep. He's not. Uh, I, I roll over sense. and scratch my neck and sleep some more. Excellent. Excellent. This man's getting in a long rest. Does, right. does Angry Mike <laughs> on a rampage? So, you hear in the distance oh, oh god sister and you see oh, no. another hag run out of from the woods to the north and she makes oh, it let's measure really well here she makes it to here uh... thank you for the pings um the one that you guys have hit a bunch of times, she is going to look at Canare since he's right in front of her face. I she did go to sleep, Canare. And she is going to chant and start casting a spell. It's not good. You need to make a death oh. save. Oh, oh no. You save. Um, <laughs> you're going to, I believe, take half damage. I am double checking. As the lightning you... bolts 
comes out of her hand Oops. half as That's much. It. So you're going to take half that damage. So 26 rounded down is 13. You're going to take 13 lightning damage. Well, guess whose oh, ass is God. on the ground? Oh, what yeah. is this? just one Canary shot me. Yeah, no, this would have instant killed him. That would have just Canary would have just him. died. We should have just left him. We should have just we left should've... Arthur. We should have just ran. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Not all right. our problem. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, nope. Yeah. Don't even bother, because it's my turn next, right? Not yet. This hag <clears throat> is going to use her action to full... Actually, you know what she's going to do? She's going to... Look at who's at uh Heeson. Oh shit. Oh no. And she's going to need you to Don't TB Cas right outside the town. <laughs> roll a wisdom save. Okay, I'm bad at these. So that's always fun. Do I have to click my character before I click nope, this one or do it in your yep. um character sheet? Wisdom save. The DC is 12. No. No, I fail. All right. Well, you are cursed, and you're going to have... Wisdom disadvantage. Love wisdom disadvantage. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And that's gonna be her turn. Me. And now it's Rainier. I step around uh, to the side of this hag and reach over and touch uh, the Dragonborn, and I'm gonna dump one point of healing through lay on hands with them to wake him up and make him no longer unconscious. Okay. And when his eyes open, I'm saying, "Get up and fight. We're not finished yet." And then I am going, that is my action, Mm -hmm. to do that. And I am going to take the chance of an attack of opportunity from this hag, and I'm going to run so I can stand, because that's five feet of movement, Yep. and then it's another 20 feet to get there. And if I can, I want to run and essentially step between our ranged and you. Uh, and spellcasters and this hag and kind of hold my shield up in front like to be in the way okay so the one that you just ran away from is going to take the attack of opportunity and she is oh. going to hit you god uh yep that does hit oh. we should run dude. we should have oh. run Four. and yep I'm down you're down? Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Okay. That is going to bring us to the Lion 5K, Mr. 5K. You're technically still flanking this one. She is incredibly bloodied. She's in front of your uh, face. Her and... Kill her. Kill her. Yo, I guess I'll just try to kill at least one. Please, um, dear please, God. You got please, this. can I hit... Oh my god! Oh, inspiration. inspiration. Uh, what you're playing? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you have. Oh, we got the advantage. Thank goodness. So yes. Yeah, do some damage. Okay. Please, please. Uh, that is ten points of piercing damage. Do you have to move to here first? Like. No. Um, how thinking? do you? No, 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 that's technically. fine. You're technically. Oh. She's engaged on two two sides of her body like she's fine um how do you okay. want to do okay. this oh i bet she is oh, yeah so just in a bit of fit of anger he just raises his short sword up and just full on just slashes into her neck like half decapitating her, oh not fully. wait a second uh i was knocked unconscious here right like this yeah yeah, yeah, right yeah. Not yeah. Just over there okay got it and so you decapitate her you say like a half, like not fully, because he's only using one hand, but it sort of does enough to it's like almost like a half decapitation. So it's just real. dangling. Yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Is there anything else that you wish to do and with then... your turn? Yeah, what do I do? I'm going to use my movement. And I'm going to move up sort of to about here in front of 
How much did that use? So five, 15 is 20 feet. I'll just sort of, I've used my action so I can't do anything else. I'll just sort of stand shield up in front of um, the down body of Reynard just to try to protect him. I go. All righty. That is going to bring us to his son. Are we fighting or are we running? I think the real run because then I'm left here. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. The or do run. Can carry you know what? You. No. If you guys need to run, get out of here. We can um, take you with us. Because, so yeah. If I use my movement to go to oh fucking I far out. I wish there was a way I could like mark that square. So that square. You want to go it's, here it's that for twenty five? Yep. There? Yeah, that'll okay. be there. So that's 25. Now, if I have 30 foot range, it's the square in front of me. Hey, she'd be in range. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So Heason's going to like dig into his beard a little bit and like pull out little scraps of food that he was saving for later. And he's going to like flick him at the hag and cast um, Tasha's Caustic Brew. Oh. Uh, to th <laughs> DC 13 deck save. Oh, Kidoki. And if she fails, then she's covered in acid. I love it. She fails. Yes. Yes. Okay, so she's covered in acid until she takes a action to scrape it off. Okay. And she takes 2d4 damage. acid damage Ooh. every turn. At the start of so, Yeah, at the start, at the start of, of its turn. turn. Oh, would she take... Surely she takes damage once she's uh... covered. Or does it, it not? It, I mean, oh, it doesn't look well. like it. But so when it comes to her turn, she takes three. Yeah. Yes, when unless she... one of us goes and wipes it off for her. Yeah. So yeah, she'll hopefully. take the start of her turn. But you yeah. see, as um, she watches her sister die, um, she's like very, oh, and as you splash her with the acid, you hear her scream, and she's just covered in it. This thick green acid all over her body. You actually hear it burning her flesh. Is there anything else you wish to do with your turn? Uh, no, that's that's everything. I got no bonus actions. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help Rainier? Kill the other hag. Do that. Medicine Great. check to stabilize. Man is yep. down. Don't that's worry about me. Gonna it's be... fine. Well, Just no. don't medicine check with your two-handed sword. <laughs> yes. If you, because if you're not good with medicine checks, don't do a medicine check. I don't know how, unless, Jibli, how do you do fails on medicine checks? <laughs> um, it you don't stabilize the person. It doesn't count as like. Okay. A, um, I mean, if it's a crit fail, you might, I don't know, lose your bandages. <laughs> you might hurt yourself. Oh, I don't know. God. I haven't come up with it, but okay. Um, you okay. Be People aren't gonna die though. Yeah. So I've had a oh, I've had a DM who. Okay. There's a former DM I had who's crit fail. Like, if you crit failed on medicine checks, he's like, oh, you actually caused him to lose a death save. No, that's fucked up. And that yeah, thank you. Thank you. you. you Chest compressions yeah. when you didn't need to yeah, for a couple of ribs. Not anything bad, you can try to do it and stabilize it if you wanted to. If it's, oh, so I'm going to go ahead and move here. That's 25, I believe. Alrighty. Pick her up. You... Yeah. And as, as uh, I'm passing Rainier. I just kind of give him a glance down, like almost like a, a glance of appreciation for what he did. Um, he doesn't notice it. Yet. Well, he doesn't <laughs> notice it. I'm, he doesn't I'm notice it, but Yeah, but, you know, it's one of those things, you know. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take another two-handed uh, thrust at the, the sister. Alrighty. Come on, you got this. And I'm going to go ahead and use my inspiration for that. Okay, oh, okay. That's definitely going to hit. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> roll some more max damage. Oh, that's Nine. Good, still good. Nice. Nine slashes. Good, good. All right. Consistent damage. <laughs> so she's got acid dripping all over her, and you come up in with a big thrust. You get her in the thigh as she tries to take a step back, and you end up just slicing into her. Um, is there anything else you wish to do on your turn? Uh, no, nothing. Alrighty then. Out of seemingly nowhere, no a black does. dog appears. Not like this. Oh, no, no not like there. this. No, not like this. There, He's a 1 HP generated. At the hag. He's 
He's got oh. like that whole arched back oh. haunches, you know. Um, oh. He is going to attempt to bite her. Oh, thank God! Good, good yeah. dog. Good, good dog. dog. Yeah. Good dog. Real. And he just real good hits. dog. Oh. And he's must save the dog. Bite her for five piercing damage. As good you um, slice her in the leg, the dog bites her <laughs> other leg. And she's now standing there, technically, I'll say flanked again, because you guys are, again, two people on either kind of corner of her. Um, and he is a good boy. And he looks up at you, Canare, with those, you know, the 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 big eyes, like, I'm, I'm doing a good job. I'm doing a heckin' good job. <laughs> what, is the, uh, what does the dog look like? He's all black. He matches the description of what Higalela had told you about. He appeared literally out of nowhere. And just like, shows up, chomp, being a good boy. This boy. Like a lab? Good yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like a lab. Yeah, yeah. Really Love it. Um, Black lab. Okay. Hey, hey, I'll save like you lab. from the dog. And he's going to just teleport over here. You just see like him. He legitimately just, teleport? Yeah, he, oh! just, he just oh! blinks out of here. Blink dog. And he blinks yeah. over here. <laughs> yep. We're keeping this dog. <laughs> This is not going to that woman. The dog was a good boy. It was coming to protect Canaray, and now it's just left the one HP barbarian again. <laughs> and that's going to bring us to Flappy. I fetched. All right, Flappy is going to move one, two, three, four, five, over to here, and Flappy is just going to keep shooting away with his bow. Pew pew. Oh, well. That's okay. Kind of miss, unfortunately. Is there anything else that you wish to do with your turn? Be sad. Okay. <laughs> um, Ignis, you're still asleep. This is your actually. Oh. Can I make an argument? Okay. <laughs> so she, she, oh, died. she died. She died. She died. The one that cursed yes! her died. Yeah, you're awake. You're up. Let's go. Yes. Oh hell yeah! You hell rouse yeah. from your slumber. Hell yeah. Dude. You get up off of the ground. You have drool on your face. You look over. To Sorry, where guys. I was. She's dead. But there's another one. Sorry, guys. The hag made me lag. <laughs> oh my god. We don't even know what lag is. <laughs> What's lag? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's something you learn about that once you get to lag. When you <laughs> <laughs> you definitely uh, need. He's, he's what is standing uh, standing up, uh, I walk 15 feet. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, use my Hexblade's curse on this hag. Oh. Uh, Actually, no, wait, nope, never mind. I cannot do that. I'm not within 30 feet. Nope, you don't do that. Forget that. Already. Uh, then I will just Eldritch Blast. And I will miss. Unfortunately. So I, I got crusties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> crusties in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Worst. And that's my turn. All right, excellent. Oops, sorry, I put the wrong thing on you. <laughs> that's <laughs> you the wrong thing. Andy's dead. That's really dead. Eye crusties. All right, Diastri, you are up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... We'll move to right there. Oh, man's got long legs. And then we're going to go ahead and take a shot with the longbow. And I cannot hit the broad side of a barn. Alrighty, your shot goes wide. As she sort of like hunkers down because she's been shot in the leg, she's been bitten in the leg, she kind of like ducks down for a second and it caused both of your um, attacks to miss. Is there anything else you wish to do with your turn? No. Alright, so it's going to be her turn. She's going to... Bloody headaches, right? Look at Heeson because she just cursed him. And she's going to. Oh, she takes damage. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. Go ahead and roll. Oh, yes. 2d4. Make a damage. Six nice. damage. Excellent. Nice. Beautiful. Burn, baby, burn. Is it her action to cover? Is it. it... 
Is yeah, it, her it, action to it would it be her action, yeah, to she's clean going it off. She's yes. not to uh, take oh. it off, and instead she's going to cast a spell, but you actually hear and physically smell her flesh burning, those of you that are close enough. Oh. She's cooking. I've smelled this before. Mm. She's cooking. Um, I'm gonna. We have need... ribs tonight. Smells like Canary is cooking. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the army, you take what you get. You wow. to make a wisdom saving throw. You got that. I can live with and that. You have you can disadvantage that. on whiz saves from being cursed. Well, it's in that one. <laughs> Well, you're paralyzed. Oh, wait, that, was, that wasn't a save, but yeah, I'll keep that anyway. I got a plus zero, so it doesn't matter. And you have Ghibli, this... I have a question. Yes. Uh, are they both concentration? They are. Let's look. But it doesn't matter. What's the other spell? Be so cursed. Curse. But at the exact oh, yeah. time that she casts it, he has disadvantage on whiz saves, but now... So it's replacing it. Gotcha. But now I don't. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you are oh, paralyzed. At the end of each of your turns, you can make another whiz save. You are no longer going to have disadvantage to do that. Okay. And how does that, like, since I'm paralyzed, does that affect my own concentration? Uh, double check. Concentration's only, Can't only broken if he takes damage. Or speak. Your... I mean, technically, I can still see her, I guess. Yeah, you fail strength and dex saves. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Attack that hits the creature is a critical hit. I would say it does not, and you didn't take damage, so you don't have to roll okay, for sweet. concentration. Good. Then she's still covered in acid. Yep. And... Then that is going to be her turn, although she's going to try to move... A w into the thick of things. So you're going to get an attack of opportunity, Canare. Into the thick oh. of it. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. <gasps> Double crits, dude. Let's go. <laughs> beautiful. Like a, beautiful. Dude, oh, Cold is wrong Baby. like a god. 13 yeah. slashy damages as she. Oops. I'm going to get my soul sucked out of me. And I feel it right now, dude. When the sorcerer gets into this line of, like, this close into it. Um, as she walks past you, she just sort of glides right past you, giving absolutely no thought to you because she just paralyzed this guy and she's, she's beelining it for him. And as she's walking past, you just whack and you get her you actually cut open the side of her abdomen is there oh no that's not your turn that's just your reaction uh rainier you have to make a death uh, save yep. this death save okay, make save, it good right? okay oh. pass one so on your sheet you see how they have the three little bubbles so you can mark one success uh death saves are con saves right uh i you should be able to just click death save. Yeah, just click death save. I, I, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, realized okay. that I could. That oh, okay. is a success. So that's one success for you. That will bring us okay. to the Lion 5K, Mr. 5K. Um, do I try to stabilize you or do I try to go off to the hag? And Keep going. I, got, I, I have a success. I have three failures. Even an at one won't kill me. Go. Okay. Go. Uh, yeah. uh, he'll sort of sprint up to behind. Uh, no, he'll sprint up to here. Put the turret just to his side. Yeah, if you're going to get flanking anyway, might as well. Yeah, then, do I have flanking since he's. We the older yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, she's oh. engaged by Ooh. two. Oh. She's engaged by two. Is, am I engaged though? I was going to say, he's, <laughs> he's paralyzed. paralyzed. Yeah, so technically, no. It's Let's not, not question Ghibli. No, what no, she so says goes. Yeah. Yeah. It's the it positioning <laughs> that you would have to be in if you wanted to get flanking. Regardless, but because okay, he's not posing bro. as a threat, it doesn't count as advantage. Yeah. I shall try. But she she seemed pretty intent on uh, sucking yeah, my soul. She, she, she's definitely she's engaged. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're getting married, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh! Uh, crit fail? No, as you Those are both yeah, terrible. as you run up, you're so concerned watching her reach out for Heeson. 
that you go to take your sword and you try to stick her with it and she just sort of freezes you in your tracks and you hesitate and she's able to get out of the way of your attack we weren't engaged before but now we are guys we're getting married tomorrow you're all invited <laughs> he says you can make another whiz save i will do exactly that <gasps> Oh, oh, come on, please, dude, my wisdom sucks. incredibly paralyzed. You <laughs> st are still staring at her, eyes open wide, but you just can't move. Yeah, I'm body. visibly, like, in. I'm visibly scared. Canaray, that brings us to you. All Keep right. the chop. All right, Cogs. As, as she walks past me, and I, I get that one slash in, I'm I'm actually enraged by how she just disregarded me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use rage for my bonus yeah, action. Rage. Ooh. All right. Yes. Go ahead and uh, walk up here and try to end her life with a, a another Oops. stab through the no, back here. No. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, fifteen. A 15 does not hit, unfortunately. Oh, God. You, it, you get so angry and you just walk over there and she's just too fast for you. She moves out of the way of attack. She's got huge, long, lanky legs. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> Gangly. Blink Dog is going to see if he can recharge his teleport. He does. He's going to move one, two, three to here. He's going to attempt to bite her. He hits, Chomp. chomps Chomp's her right on the ass away. for five damages. This hag has a bubble butt for sure. Yeah, and then he's going <laughs> to teleport away again back to over here. He's just going to go in, chomp, go out, peace out. The uh, hit and run tactics. Yeah, he's a good boy. I can appreciate you know, he's a very that. Good boy. That brings us to you, Flappy. Flappy. We're just doing straight distance, right? Okay. Not grid distance. Yeah, correct. Looks like I can move diagonal if I want. Yep. Okay. All right. Flappy is going to come right in over here. And Flappy is going to whack at the hag with his rapier. All righty. Now, you had your bow out, so you would have had to drop it to free item interaction, pull out your rapier. So your bow will be on the ground wherever you decided to drop it. Sure. Okie dokie. And I fail horribly. You have advantage, but unfortunately with both of those rolls, you do not hit. If you would like to use an inspiration, you can re-roll. I'm good. Okie dokie. Then, yeah, as you walk up, she just sees you coming. Um, Steps out of the way. Ignis, you're up. And fifteen twenty-five. I'm how does she can I make a perception just to see how she's looking? Um you sure can. She is almost bloodied. Basically bloodied. Like two HP away from being bloodied. She does not look good. She's got um Cuts all over. She's got a big bleeding wound in her abdomen. Bites taken She's out of her leg and her butt. She's not feeling good. Covered, covered in acid. acid. <laughs> just a little glazing of acid. Then I'm just going to Eldridge Blaster. Okay, and an 18 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, Excellent. damn. And with damn. that, she does become bloodied. <laughs> you shoot the Eldritch Blast at her, and it hits her. And with that, you start to see she is deteriorating. Her actual stature and everything gets a little more crumpled. And she's starting to get that panicked, like, fearful look. Like, oh, not only did they kill my sister, but now they're going to kill me. Is there any boss, I'm going to say... I'm going to say to the group, there might still be one more. They travel in trios. So oh, don't let your guard oh, yeah. down. Uh, well, after I don't... You and, and my turn. Say that she looks to Arthur and she goes, Our third sister was murdered by your kin. 
Good, Good job. Very my paralysis. I should have glanced at Arthur like, like, what the frick, dude? <laughs> inside check. No idea. Inside check to see if she's lying. All right, go ahead. Inside check. You see a little thumbs up from Hazen, even though he's paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. <it's just> a... <laughs> um, she appears to be telling the truth. She is full of wrath and vengeance, and you could tell the way that she sort of had it out for Arthur since day one, or since the moment that you met her, that. She she appears to be telling the truth, and actually Arthur really killed her other really sister, hard. so she really hates her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is basically Arthur just says wow. good, and I'm gonna kill you as well. <laughs> yeah, three for three. Shit. That's gonna bring us to Diastri. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move in and attack with my main hand. I love that we just swamped her. She yeah, can't just yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah, swamped. Gosh, Pitt. A seven is uh, going to miss, unfortunately. Heck, oh my God, we have advantage. A thirteen is now. going to also miss, unfortunately. Yeah, right. The has the most consistent roll. bad rolls. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm, well, I, I've got my offhand, and I dropped my bow. Let me just mark that real quick. My bow is over here. Um. So I'm going to uh, attack with my offhand. No, already. Short sword. That one does hit. Go ahead yes. and roll damage. Nice. Four piercies. Excellent. Hey, it would only be one piercy. Oh, wait. Oh, it's giving you... All right, we'll fix that later. Yep, thank you. It's just the die roll, not your... Um, not plus you get the plus three. How dare you play fairly until oh. it was good. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Just I'm awful you. good. I'm sorry. Uh, that's fine. Brownie that's points. Brownie points. Just, Surely he gets an inspiration for that. This is why we have rare bears in the village. Oh, we got two lawful goods. Ugh. Uh, is there <laughs> anything else you wish to do with your turn, Diastri? No. Who's the uh, other lawful good? Alrighty. So the that hag. Now mm -hmm. that she is nice within be. reach of Heeson. Oh no! Oh, she takes um two D four acid damage. Oh, 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 seven. Oh, nice, nice damage. Ooh, She's nice. cooking. She's sizzling. I want her to die from my acid, so then she can do the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I'm melting. No, oh, what a world. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's actually. It's um an action for her to take the acid off of her. Yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right, she is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a that's a good smell. She's Saved. Going smell. to take her action to take the acid off of her. You see her rip a piece of the cloth of like her rags that she's wearing off, and she's like wiping it off of her face. At first, it didn't seem to bother her so much, but now that she's taken enough damage, and she's you know physically just feeling it melt into her skin and her muscles and her bones, she's like ah and she tries to wipe it off throws the thing on the ground she is um no longer covered by acid so that's he is a clean thing. that's a good spell yeah. she has excess <laughs> oh how do i get rid of that i was uh, just not meant to over, over, I like click it and then mouse, delete delete um oh, i can move it rainier you have to make a death save yes i do oh, you got also this. check the discord well, you got this <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> if I was a nat 20, that would have been Discord perfect. ever while we're streaming because I'm screen capturing Discord. So oh, no. Whisper me on that. Whisper me on Roll20. I, I can try to show it on the camera if you want from my phone, if you want to try to see it. <laughs> um, okay, it's so that's good. a success. So that's two successes, bringing us to Lion. That's me. Uh, please, I... Another short sword attack. Please, can I hit something today? 22 oh. to hit. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh. Come on, kill her! Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Boom, 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 let's go. She takes uh, 8 points of piercing damage. 8 points of piercing damage. That should be my turn. She is injured. You slice her down from her shoulder, down through her front. She is very Ooh. visibly bloodied at this point she starts to just look around she's completely um stuck between all of you guys she feels like there is nowhere for her Apple to say move. there's nowhere for you to go you don't Man, she could yeah. just push me over and run there'd be like four opportunity attacks from it would <laughs> yeah um, but i mean like it's a chance 
So push you over a run, stab can uh, run. So wisdom save. You got, am I gonna be no? Not safe. Nope, you're just I'm paralyzed. Still, yet still again. paralyzed. I did. I did my damage. That's all I care about. You did. You did great. Alrighty, that brings us to Canare. All right, yeah. Full, full rage mode now. Smoke billowing out Come of on. my nostrils. I'm really going for a full on this. slash here. Try to cut her in half. Oh, with advantage, you with are with able advantage. to oh, make contact. Go ahead and roll. Fifteen oh, slash. Oh, that's max Woo! damage right there. Holy balls. Well, I plus love it. it. Hell As yeah. you slash into her back, you actually expose her spine. You see a piece of vertebrae. Your your sword like clinks up against it. She is not dead, but she is howling majorly in pain. Um, is there anything else that you wish to do with your turn? Are you hag? Oh yes, blink dog surely finishes her off. Uh, okay. <laughs> blink, yeah, like a good boy he is. Blink dog <laughs> runs up. He is gonna try to bite her. He misses. He's uh, gonna what? Go uh, see if his uh, teleport recharges. It does not. So he's going to take an attack of opportunity and he's gonna <gasps> walk away. She's gonna no, slash no. at the him with her claws. Dead. Dog. If this dog no. dies, no, not blink. <laughs> oh, he's already got a name. <laughs> oh, she hits him. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 for 15 oh, no, oh, no. You see, <laughs> she takes a giant chunk out of his face. You can see the three scratch marks. He's bloodied underneath his throat, and his neck is all slashed up. He makes it away from her and he starts whimpering. <laughs> But he is not dead. He is bloodied, though. Oh, no, at least everyone not drop dead. everything and focus on the dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Are you okay, boy? Um, that's going to be Flappy's turn. <laughs> Let's go, Flappy. Flappy. In anger. Flappy's muted. Uh, you didn't even say anything with an issue. Yeah. Oh, my just... God. Discord didn't pick it up. Didn't, didn't pick it up. Whatever. <laughs> Angry Flappy noises. <laughs> Angry flapping. <laughs> I love that. Hey. Oh, All right, nice. I agree. with advantage. Go ahead, roll dams. Um, I would also sneak like attack. to use my sneak, sneak attack. attack. Yes, oh. You get that. Nice. Sneak attack damage is also doubled too. Yeah. It is twenty-two. How do you want so to another do D6. this? So another D six. Yeah. Oh, nice. Destroyed. Um. I would just like to simply stick my rapier in her, pull it back, wipe it off, and coo. Okay. She crumples <laughs> slowly. Right. You guys, currently, um, I'm going to say you have a second to run over to your fallen yeah. party member before he has to make to, another death save. If I you want to run over him. and make a... I'll pull out yeah, there's still a few turns before we... like, I have to go pick some, up my bow. One of my, one of my spare shirts and rip it and try to use that as bandages to help stabilize. Okay, me. make a medicine check. Hisun, you are no longer paralyzed. You feel uh, the uh, grip of the magic unbind itself oof. from your muscles. Oh, just take, just take save the the dog. Uh, can I do a quick survey of the area to see if we have any anything else that might be uh, coming Sure, to roll us? a perception check. Um, Rainier, you are... That's three saves, correct? Yep. Okay, roll a d4. D4? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. How long is he sleeping for? You will oh. wake up in two hours, but you are not going to die from your wounds. Your body has stabilized itself. No thanks to Arthur and his medicine check, but I, at least he tried. Yeah, I um, tried. Canary. I mean, from Arthur's perspective, I am stabilized. I, I saved him. I have done it. Look at him. I have healed you. <laughs> um, you guys each get 200 XP. It was 100 Ooh. for that. What you can see, Canaray, from um, your That's perception great. is that um, there are no more um, people around Never this more. area. You do see uh, Higa, Layla, she can see from where her house is just across the road to the south. You see her peering through the um, the her window intently at you guys. She has um, 
she has not drawn her curtains or anything. Her window is wide open. She sees the dog. She's very happy that the dog is there. And um, other than that, though, your commotion has begun um, to stir up stuff in the town. There is a guard currently, like, slow jogging, like, power walking his way over to you. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> slow enough that yeah. he doesn't get here, like, yeah. <laughs> in time to actually participate in the battle. I almost, uh, <laughs> guys, make sure, make sure before that the guards get here that we check these hags for swag. Yeah, I want to look yeah, for, check uh, for yeah. swag. I'm, I'm, I'm swag. bending down right... Oh, I'm oh, bending down. Get I that hag swag. Out. I take my oh, dagger out. Stab the mouth and take a take a tooth. Oh, um, nice. go ahead and roll a survival yeah. check. All right, and then see how I'll good of a Can I do an investigation on this hag over here? You get as many teeth as you would like. Uh, you. I just want one. Teeth for want the whole party. Try to lose the <laughs> hag that's down by me as well. You are able to find, uh, especially with your investigation check. So on them, they've got a couple weird trinkets and baubles. They've got some seashells, a cool, you know, shiny like quartz, you know, rock and stuff like that. But you find actually in the hem of her dress, her little ragged robes that she's wearing, there's um some jangly bits down there. So you rip it open, and she has two platinum pieces. Ooh, oh, nice. You also I wonder guys, if they I found were... two platinum pieces, two platinum yeah, pieces. I wonder if they were hiding those in the down tent there. with illusion Go magic as well. Go give those to the kids for uh, seven months. How about I know? I wonder if anything was hidden in the tent. In the tent. Oh, we can look in there in a second. So um, the I mean, like, I'm, I'm just saying that, like, kind of out of character. Yeah, um, I'm... I'm, I'm Composing yeah, myself would off like in to the go sneak into the that near death experience. We, we, can, we can check it out. Um, I also now, have I'll have my dagger cut in the den over here. The other the um, hag, the one that uh, Ignis did not rip open her jangly bits, um, <laughs> she is carrying with her a thin willow stick. And that's the only thing she has Ooh. on her person. Little perception inside the tent to one that I may have cut my way into. Strange about this stick at all that I can notice. Um, you can roll investigation. <laughs> I shall then. That's stick. Yep, it's a stick for sure. It's a stick. It's a stick. It's a stick. It's a stick. Join Flappy and looking around. <laughs> I'll go ahead and step in the tent as well. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down, I'm taking a breather. I'm at one HP. I'm taking a little breather and just sitting down. In yeah, he's sounds just like off in the distance, kind of just like, like trying to compose yeah. himself. Deep breaths. Inside of the tent, there is a backpack. Inside of the backpack are three rations and a silver amulet. It I is a you. locket. It's a necklace. Great. I will take the silver amulet. Who needs rations? They can have the rations. Yeah, you could just eat rats anyways. I shall Make sure up. that when you put it in your inventory, you write that it's a locket. I shall walk up to the good boys and deal in front of I'll, them and try I'll, I'll, uh, to see if he's take okay. Take the rations. Can I do an investigation or something on it to see if I have any idea what the heck it is? Open it. It's a locket. It's, I... it's a locket. Arthur... Did you telling me they forgot to lock it? God. <laughs> well, yeah, somebody got into her jangly bit. Oh, I'm sure she saying? forgot to lock it. Oh, it has God. the initials <laughs> HJ uh, engraved on one side and on the other side FJ. HJ, FJ. Hmm. Also, I'm going to go ahead and offer one of my rations to the doggo. But yeah, that's what I was about to do as well. <laughs> so I'm just like, pull out a ration and kind of, you know. Try to tempt them over. Uh, roll an animal handling check. Oh, that's not gonna you, be good. You better be good at this. We need that dog. Ooh, oh, buddy. Oh, um, God. Try it since I wanted to he get He is very injured. He's starting to do that very scared dog, you know, thing um, where mm. he... Uh, he's he's not trusting you. He's not running away from you, but he's just not sure if you're gonna hurt him more than he's already hurt. May I attempt to try to calm him down since I'm 
Sure, roll animal yeah. handling check. I'll, I just kind of toss the rations in front of him just to... Whole team? Okay. Um, yeah, he eats the ration that Canaray threw in front of him, and he looks up at you, and just, he we'll, does that, like, up, submissive man. dog head bow, where he'll, like, allow you to pet him. Yeah, and I'll just sort of gently do that, and let him, and just sort of try comfort him, and just sort of examine how bad his wounds are at the same time, without, like, trying to touch them too much. Pretty bad, he's bleeding, um, he's looking pretty unhealthy, you know that, um... He should probably receive healing or some sort of medical attention. Otherwise, it would probably get infected, especially because where it is on his throat. I... I'll I'll go to him. Hex, 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 dog. The... Yeah. We said the initials were HJF. Do we still have any? Yeah, yeah. We still have any uh, bandages from when we were at Muriel's house? Yeah. Can I uh, clean with water and bandage the dog? Yeah, Go ahead and roll a medicine check. Medicine, medicine or animal handling? Medicine, because you're trying can to I, heal him. Can I assist him to give him advantage? Yeah, you can. Cool, I'll do that. 17. Nice. Um, I will say, because a medicine check doesn't actually heal the animal, but you have cleaned up the wound so that it will stop it from getting infected. Um, and the dog really does appreciate that. You fed him, you've pet him, you've cleaned up his wounds. He sort of looks up at you with like, you know, those big puppy eyes, like the like, did I do a good job? I helped bite that lady in the bud and now you guys are safe and there's no more fighting. Best boy. Good boy. Good boy. Now now we've got the serious <laughs> moral dilemma. We said we would give this dog to Higa. <laughs> we and said we would watching. look for a dog. She's well, she's there, but... she's watching. <laughs> Um, do you guys want to take a 10 minute break right now? Good break time? Yeah. Yes. Pee breaks? Nice little yes. pee break. Yeah, we're about halfway, right? Yeah, we're about no, halfway. We're, we're, halfway. we're playing for 10 hours today? Yep. No, yeah. Stop, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be canceling I'm... EU4 stream if we keep doing d and I'll play for forever. Four hours. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't mind going for a bit longer. Let's uh, sure. take a 10 minute break. I'm going to go pee and then uh, we'll be right back. Wow. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Uh, at least, at least, stream didn't have to see me rules lawyer that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys killed some hags. Uh, the guard walks up and he's like, uh, "What's all this then? What does it look like?" Well, well you see, we did some huggies and we buggers the huggies, and now we all split. Truly, yeah. this. Are you all right? Some of you look pretty messed up, right? I mean, Rainier's still... Yeah. <laughs> Rainier's sleeping. Um, <laughs> yeah. Canaray is on like one yeah. HP. <laughs> He's like... I am pretty haggard, ruined. yeah. I think it, they were the only two that got attacked, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I yeah got the action economy was brutal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys technically have enough XP to level up after a long rest, FYI. So, okay. level oh, 2 tonight. Go. Oh, how much EXP did we get? You got 200 uh, from that. 200. So, you so we're, we'll max out it. It's, we're at 315 right now, total. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, excited. Finally get my sorcery points. So I can cast more Ooh. spells. Yeah, I, I personally just dismissed the guard with that that notion. Like, obviously, we're we're a little little bit worse for wear. Hmm. What does it look like? We're freaking doing the guard's job. Yeah. We try not. Uh, to, I will call. To An Go ahead. I'm gonna call Angramar over and uh, just say to someone, "Will someone help me get Rainier on him?" We can uh, use him <laughs> yeah, I'll to take him back. Yeah, I, I'll help. How big is your crocodile, dude? He's a large creature. He's very, he's big. Oh, he's far out. You got like a, you got like a freaking throne on the back or something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know the name of him, but uh, picture yeah. the uh, thing from the Princess and the Frog. I was thinking it's more long lines like Xerxes from Three Hundred. Mm -hmm. mm. Just a big so it's throne. A bunch of slaves, though. It's a giant ass alligator. Mm. Yeah. Well, you should probably take your friend to the temple if uh, really? if you're needing some oh. healing. Are they going to charge us? I, I I'm not a, I'm not a person. 
Have you ever been in there? Probably yeah, should have I go every Sunday. Do they charge? <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, normally they do, but uh. You know what? My my, my rage is visibly <laughs> rising. <laughs> 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 so when are we stabbing this card? <laughs> he so looks. Want to let the reeve know about the situation. Yeah, I mean, I'll uh, I'll I'll get right on it. And he kind of power walks off, slow jog. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run, yeah, <laughs> fucking these guards, dude. They don't want to move, do they? Just want to walk everywhere. They're just small town guards. That man. guard, that guard's gonna take credit. Take some hustle bustle, dude. <laughs> I just want to point out, this town has a lot of monsters in it for a town mm. that doesn't have yeah, any yeah. monsters in it. This town <laughs> is cursed. For sure. This town is messed up. Werebear, oh, hags, goblins. And maybe this was Next the we're going to find out Wilma's Empire, like a dragon in disguise. Something, something in the lake. Like messing things up. Uh, Forgot yeah. about that one. Is is Doggo trusting to all of us now? Yeah, yeah. At this or, point, okay. he he realizes that he's part of the pack. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pick Doggo up so I can carry Doggo to the healing uh, temple as well. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Does he get scared of the crocodile or alligator? Do we have um? Does our employer cover medical or? <laughs> 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 Not that we you we know. have an employer. Oh. Do we I'm have dental? No. We'll, we'll reeve, I guess. Uh, yeah, but surely. the deductible is like one life, so <laughs> all the cinnamon sure. rolls you can eat, <laughs> and our, ex our excess is gonna go up. So our monthly payments are gonna go up. Oh god! Freaking insurance. Oh, um, uh, Ghibli. Yes. When I got cut down, uh, what was the attack like? What? Where did the hag hit me? Oh, she got you in the like from shoulder oh, down twin. to like navel. <laughs> okay, that I'll add that. She got you with the scars. claws, right? Yeah. So you have three claw mark scratches. The middle one is deeper than the other ones. Um, pretty bloody. Oh, that was that, that eagle was be into that. <laughs> oh god, that was brutal. The freaking glad there was no TPK. I was a little nervous. Oh, I was oh, nervous boy. too. Was Holy like, oh, no. god. When they just started TPK? getting one shot, dude, I was like, oh, that's our Bob down. He's got the most HP. Our <laughs> there's our, there's our Kaladin gone. That's, like, that's our healer. Oh, <laughs> God. Hey, 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 he he killed me if I didn't get the save on But the amount, of damage, the amount of damage <laughs> that uh, Kaneer, uh, uh did. Yeah, he would have died instantly. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Um, we wouldn't be able to do it. So oh. this is the temple on the map. You guys should all be on the new map, yes? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, got, I got two of me, so you're seeing double. Oh. Oops. Oh, there's a temple down there. Um. So yeah. as you walk past Higa Layla's oh, house, Ghibli, while they're going back there, can I fly around the field and above the field and look along the ledge of the forest and stuff and see what's going on and then fly down to meet him? Yeah. Go ahead. Roll perception yep. check. Um. As you walk past Higa Layla's yep. house, she uh opens up the door and she's like. <gasps> Was that the dog? You have the dog? We'll be back later. Is he hurt? Oh, show her, I can help. Show her, show her the dog. Oh, you can help? How so? I've, I've got healing potions and stuff. What? <laughs> come in, come in. Here's our reward, guys. Do we give up the dog for this? <laughs> I guess we uh, Yes. I really need some we already some... have a cute mascot. We do. Agrima is we he do. does the job. He does that job. He's not a dog though. Mm. But he's Definitely an alligator. Can he That's teleport? even better. Well, just yeah, think of how teleport? useful a pack dog could be in a high situation. Think about that can what if what if Canare just throws the alligator? <laughs> what if give her the That's alligator? Essentially teleporting. <laughs> That's fair. What if he can attack? Yeah. So what if we just have Agrima eat a rock? the vault throws him through the vault door? <laughs> We'll have him just swallow a stone, and then you can cast catapult and throw yeah. the stone with the alligator. Yeah. It's fine. Can I do a perception check on the on the dog to see it's see if it's male or female? Uh, Hello, and welcome to Nomish Airlines, where we put you on a rock and throw you. 
Um, it's a female. She is oh. a female dog. Oh, um, a good girl. Oh. It's time. Your perception check from what you can see, um, are you flying over like the woods or like the camp area? The the, the field and the edge of the woods. Um, field and the edge of the woods, you don't see anything too out of the ordinary. You can see where the um, hag, the second one, came from. There's a little break through the brush, kind of like some small shrubs and stuff leading into the edge of the woods. Um, there's a small little like game trail. It looks like she went back there. Um, flying overhead, you see a few animals and stuff. Um, nothing super out of the ordinary. It's around noon right now, so the sun's, you know, kind of high up. Um, nothing so can I go crazy. see what she was following in the game trail? Or do yeah. I have to be on the ground? To... You would have to be on the ground to actually follow it, considering, like... Alright, I'll follow it. Like, yeah, once you fly over Meanwhile, the trees... Meanwhile, Flappy like... goes out scouting and was, never uh, returns. Yeah, it was good knowing <laughs> you, dude. Okay. Goodbye, um, Flappy. Roll a survival check to follow the trail. You're lucky that this um... is where I get lost. Oh, hey. uh, 19. oh nice. Uh, you're able to follow the trail. I'll get back to you in one second. All right. As for you guys at Higalela's house, um, you guys bring the dog to her. We'll bring no, the dog inside. She can't. She can't. She can't have a blink she can't dog. Touch dog. It. Come on. Why not? She's. Who did help I mean, her? I feel bad. I feel bad for her, but a blink dog is a lot. Like that's a lot of work. Maybe, maybe we take the dog and uh, see if later, since it's a female, we can we can have puppies with it, and bring her a puppy. Because I mean, a, a a puppy for a for somebody is much better because you can raise if it, it and if it, it becomes long, your own. If it lives sure. that long. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh God. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I'm unconscious. <laughs> no, that, me. That's Flappy flapping up. We, we can go with She says she has healing potions, so we can at least mm. heal the dog and maybe even heal Rena, so. For free. I'd rather, I'd rather pay, like, ha like, the five gold to get healed at the temple, personally. Me too. And then have a sleep. Pay five, yeah. five gold and have a sleep. <laughs> yeah, because that, like, healing potions are r really, like, we don't, I don't use a healing potion on me right now. Okay. So yeah. you guys go past Higalela's house, then you just continue marching on towards the temple? Well, I mean... I mean, I kind of want a healing potion. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think I think we want to roll. Ask her how she got the healing potions as well. Maybe. I'm, I'm not hurt. I can, I'm, I can I'm, stay I'm already, at her house. I'm already pathing towards her house. Like, that's, uh, that's okay. what I'm All right. Canaray, dog I'm... in arms, going to Higalela's house. She has the door yeah. open. You go in. Um, she's like, here, just just put the dog on the table. And you see yeah. from um, a small cabinet, she opens it up, and there's several tiny glass bottles filled with a red liquid. She takes one out. She pours it um, into the dog's mouth. He's li she's lying on the table, you know, on her side. And visibly, you can see the energy yeah. return to the dog. She's like, are you hurt as well? And she hands you two of the bottles. Ooh, I go ahead and immediately uh, drink one of those. Okay, um, that's 2d4 plus 2 HP. All right. So, I mean, quickly ask, where did you acquire these healing potions? Or did you make them yourself? Oh, the um, Yuzori, the uh, herbalist plus in town, two. gives me them for... Um, you know, my illnesses and the like. Do you have a prescription for those? <laughs> I just go and I purchase them. Okay. No. Are these uh, medical healing potions that you've got a prescription? <laughs> yes. Yes. Missouri knows to make me a few a week just in case. Okay. I won't, I won't ask to see the prescription this time. <laughs> we can at least... Um... Do any of you... Others need any of these as well. I've I have a few more to spare. I'll take a couple just for traveling. Okay. I would she, suggest you're I'm... not injured though, right? So she only gives you one. No. Okay. I'll take one. I will she take one give... as well. She gives you one. Are you injured, Ignis? <coughs> <coughs> I am not injured. Rain is hella hecked up, dude. 
Stable though. Stable, but he's actually actually wait. Is Rainier even awake? Nope. No, He'd just nope. be like That's asleep on the crocodile. Yeah. He's <laughs> just <laughs> dead. <laughs> we could ask like, oh, could we could we get a couple or could we get some for our friend over here on the crocodile? Yes, yes, of course. And she gives you three. Three. Ooh. So how many hit I'll be sure to give them to him later. Hmm. What was the guy's name that you be you get these from? <laughs> Yuzori. And uh, would he be willing to make more of them for us? Oh yeah, sure. He's um, the herbalist in town. He sells all kinds of alchemical potions. Okay, I'll um, have to pay him a visit. Anyways, thank you guys so much for finding the dog for me. Um, tell you what, here I'll give you some of these, and she gives you two gems. One is a moonstone worth 50 gold, and one Oof. is a pearl worth 100 gold. And then she also gives you a strange bronze coin. It has a symbol on it, but none of you read that symbol. And she says, this will help you later. Can we see what kind of like writing it is on the symbol? Um, you do not speak the language. Only one person in the party. Do I know what kind of? The language do I know what language it is though? Nope. Oh. No. I can't roll. I can't roll like a history check or anything can, to see if uh, I recognize you the language. Can roll an intelligence <laughs> check. Oh, I'm great at these. No, as a save. Never mind. Yeah, you uh, don't 11. know this. This it. is like a very protected, secret kind of language that only a few people know. Um, <laughs> going back to Flappy real quick, you follow the game trail, <laughs> and you're Birds. going in the woods. Um, you get to a small spring, and there are a bunch of um, mushrooms and different kinds of fungus that grow along the bank of this like little pool of water. There's a fresh bubbly spring with fresh water coming out. Um, you can tell that a couple of these mushrooms had been picked. Great, that's not ominous at all. Uh, can I pick a couple of mushrooms and stone them in my bag? Sure. Well, actually, can I tell what they are first? I was going to say, do you want to roll a nature check first? Yeah, you know, maybe. You yeah. know, hey, if they blow up, they blow up. Okay. Um, you are able to discern that there are two kinds of mushrooms here, and one of them is called a cap hack mushroom. And one of them is called a Sylvestra mushroom. And you're and able to can I know what those do? Are you an herbalist or an alchemist? Nope. Nope. We got one of those, you but he's not do, there. Um, <laughs> a medicine check. Let me see a book. Sure. Hey. All right. Medicine. You know that they are used in potion making and that a cap hack mushroom is used in a few potions. One of them is a filter of love. Mm -hmm. And the Sylvestra mushroom, when you touch it, it is hot to the touch, physically warm. And you know that it is used in certain fire types of potions. Interesting. So you have both of those in your inventory. I have one of each. Yep. Okay. He gave me three potions, right? Yep. Three. Okay, so potions. How many potions do we get given total? Is there it's anything else I notice at this nice little spring? Um, nope. It just looks like uh she came out here, she picked a couple mushrooms, she headed back to the camp. Interesting. Roll a investigation check. Nope. Of course that's the one I fail miserably. <laughs> Alright. Now, am I able to fly up out of this clearing and make a bark mental note of about where it is? Yeah. And then head back? Cool. Yep. Uh, while you're flying back, you guys are still at Higalela's. She has the dog on the table. The dog is resting. Um, she gave you guys some gems, some healing potions, and she seems very pleased to have the dog 
Um, she's like uh, kind of doting, you know, she's just making sure she's looking at the wounds, kind of, you know, making sure that it's nice and clean. You guys already cleaned it off. Um, she's like, well, I shall have to think of a name for her. But please, you know, thank you so much. And, and make sure that if you ever see another dog like this, not to hurt it. Of course. Um, <coughs> you, you do understand uh, this is not a regular dog, right? Oh, it's unnatural. Yes. I like it, though. Yeah. It's a it teleports to and from, so you may have trouble keeping track it, of it. We worry that it's going to be too much to handle for you. Are you saying that? Because I am immobile in my chair. <laughs> if you want to be honest, yes. <laughs> because I think that a teleporting dog is the perfect companion for someone like me. It can get I agree with her. to go. I'm going to train it to be like a service animal. I'll, I'll teach him how to, you know, pick up stuff and or her to pick up stuff and bring it to me. I mean, to be fair, fair enough, just it being yeah. able to walk means it can get to anywhere that it needs to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, just saying. <laughs> um, I do I like the idea of having a teleporting very... dog. Well, I, 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 you're not there. Flaps. Do, do you, do you I, throw things on the roof often? or? I, I mean, mean, to be fair, we did invent the wheel because it's an easier way to get from one place to the other. Yeah. In the midst of this convo, I kind of leave. We the, also invented the house stairs. and come to the the children's here. Okay. Um, so I have an idea. Just real quick. Oh, I All right. Something else. Um, yeah. The kids are still outside. Um, actually, no, they're not because you guys just fought hags. The kids are inside their house. Um, you can see the little girl um, is kind of like looking out at the window at you, and she kind of like uh, as you approach many... the house, she kind of backs off. How many cinnamon buns, cinnamon buns do they have? I just have a sack so, full of cinnamon I, 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 I've at least got a few. The, <laughs> it's all over the table, and it's they're all on the table, and the parents are just, like, flabbergasted heads. Yeah. And hands and cinnamon heads bun house. Like... Two gold pieces, and you spent it them on what? Well, are, can I see if the, the parents are home or anything? As yeah, well? if you, you just... want to knock on the door, or just, like, through the yeah, I Yeah, I, I knock on the door. Yeah, um, a man comes to the door. He is um, kind of dirty looking, like he, you know, just came from work kind of thing. He's got like a little dirt on his face. He smells like fish. He is wearing um, like high water pants and big, thick leather boots. He's got um, kind of like he's kind of balding, kind of got a comb over going. And he's like, can I help you? Yeah, hopefully. Uh, my name is Canaray, and uh, you're familiar with uh, Higa, correct? Yeah, she's that nice lady right over there. We've been neighbors for several years now. Right, right, right. Well, um, my party and myself, uh, we, we want to help her out, and uh, I've, I've, I've grown a fondness of your children. I'm hoping they would be able to assist with, uh, with anything that Higa needs in the future, and I'm I'm willing to pay you uh, for their help. Well, we always help Higa. We uh we could definitely use some coin. I I hate to ask. I I don't believe in accepting charity, but and then you hear the little girl in the back, and she runs out, and she's like, "We bought food." And it's not cinnamon buns. It's like actual, like she's got like um, salted fish. She's got like, you know, um, like some vegetables, like a big onion, some like a sack of potatoes behind Ooh. her. She's like, thank you so much. Smart Dragon kid. Man. Smart oh, welcome, kid. little one. Um, what I would like to do is if you can just have them, you know, visit that, visit Higa every day, um, you know, keep her less lonely uh, until we can find perhaps a dog for her. Um, that would be very helpful for us. Kiga's gonna get a dog? Maybe. We hope. Cool. Awesome. Um, the father, he's like, he he definitely shakes your hand. Um, he's like, my name's Headley, by the way. Headley Crestflow. Headley, here's Headley. here's twenty gold pieces. Uh, make sure make sure she's well taken care of. Of course. Uh of course, thank you, thank you so much. I, I, I've, I, I've never seen this much money. Are you a it's friend nothing. of Higa's? Um, I wouldn't say friend. We just uh, we're in business together. 
Oh. Common interests, let's say it that way. Yeah, of course. Great. Uh, well, that's all I have. Uh, make sure you put that uh, gold to use, and uh, blessings to you. And may the father and mother's blessings to you as well. And he just kind of, like, you know, takes the little girl by, like, you know, the back and just sort of, like, leads her, kind of closes the door. You hear him as soon as the door closes. Honey, you can't believe what just happened! And he's, like, telling his wife all <laughs> excitedly. <laughs> All right, so I, I come back to Higa's cottage, house, okay. whatever you um, want to call it. While in the he... Oh, sorry, go ahead, Arthur. Oh, no, I was just going to say, can I just make an insight check on the dog to see how she feels about Higa? Yeah, go ahead, roll it. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just do that real quick. Uh, where is yeah, it? I mean, it's a blink dog. It's not like she's going to be able to lock it down, you know? It's like, there it is. Uh, the dog is injured and is just laying there, pretty much trying its best to just heal and regain any uh, breath and, you know, just happy to be alive at this point. Gotcha. Oh, I mean... <laughs> She's right, so I get... doting on it. She seems very much... Um, like determined that she's going to keep this dog. She's already got a bowl out with water. She's got another bowl out. She's like ripping up a ration into all this like, you know, meat and stuff. Scraping its name into the bowl. Yeah. All right. So, so <laughs> I walk back in and I'm like, Higa, I, I have a solution for all of this. All right. I, I'm talking to the Crest Flows, the Crest Flow kids, you know them. Yeah, they're nice. They're kind of loud outside all the time. <laughs> well, you know they're kids they're they're enjoying that you you were a kid before i'm sure you were allowed to actually no i was never a kid no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> Roll Roll for initiative. Hag. He, got, he got turns into a hag on a wheelchair just wait there's more <laughs> yeah they've promised to come by every day help out with chores uh keep you company until we can find you an actual puppy uh, and i'm gonna roll i'm gonna go ahead and roll persuasion on this Okay. Come on. Mm. Oh. Are you guys trying to help and aid him for advantage? He son doesn't want a dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But Oof. I, I I told you uh, about this dog and I Oops, I thought that um that you guys were gonna go get it for me. I'm confused. Well, that was bef that was before we knew the nature of the dog. I've already promised you we can find you a puppy, an actual puppy. But this is a blink dog. This is different. But I want it. Well, then here, you're a persuasion check back, against him. If you're going to take this dog, give me back all the healing potions. Give me back the gems. Give me back the jewels. Give me back my coin. She's pissed. Well, I, uh, oh. Hasten's yeah. going to go and, like, you know, tug on, on the, the dragon's shirt, get him to lean down and just whisper in his ears, like, think about it. Look how old she is. She's probably a best got like another couple of years. This this dog will be ours. <laughs> Not like you guys don't know anyone who could arrange anything. <laughs> her legs might not work, but her hearing's Look, just fine. No, it, it, I whispered it. Come on, I didn't. I wasn't yelling that out. Oh my god! Clearly frustrated, I let out two huffs of smoke from my nostrils and turn away. And she does the human equivalent of huffs of smoke out of her nostrils, and she's like, <laughs> and I just turn, a, I turn and look at the old lady, and I just nod and walk away. That's how you defuse the situation, guys. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That's how you defuse I'm, the I'm gonna take Angramar and the unconscious uh, Rainier and head towards the temple. I'm gonna go with them as well. Yeah, well, just keep the dog. It's fine. I would much rather have healing potions and yeah. gems worth money. <laughs> Dog, I'm just think of pray. all the things you could do with a teleporting dog. Um, now I feel real stupid for dropping 20 gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, just go back to the family back. and go, grab it back. <laughs> <laughs> about that, yeah. 
Just, right. just think of it as an investment in our future. Yeah. If you really want 20 gold back, I'll just give you 20 of my gold. It's fine. No. Yeah, I'll, no. Give, him, I'll give him no, some money if we have to. It's Can fine. I, I made my decision. Inspiration because you did try to help the lady. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, That's like 20 gold, right? If you, you know, she has the dog now. Um, You can visit it at any time. <laughs> You can try to steal okay. it back. Who knows? Office. It it might even think that we're its pack, and it might just blink away and come That's find us anyway. That's very true. That's very as walking true. away, I just yell, "Her name is Silox." I thought we agreed on Blinky. I thought it was yeah. I thought it was Blinky. Blink. <laughs> I mean, did we agree? I didn't. Mean, I wasn't there for that. No, I, 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 just, I, just I just started calling. Blink. Yeah. yeah, I just started calling her Blink. Um, Flappy, at this point, you're able to meet back up to the group. You see them leaving Higalela's house. There's been a bit of a heated thing. Canaray is like, and her name is Silox! And, like, <laughs> stomps out angrily. Do I know anything and, uh, notice anything in Thieves' Cant around her house? Nothing Like, either Thieves between can. now or... If the party wishes to share with you what they got as a reward, that's a different story. Ooh. All right. Well, right, since there's not, I, I'm gonna go check on that uh, rich people's house and see if uh, they're still there. Yeah, they're there for um, really no reason whatsoever. There's a little girl. Um, she's now sitting in front of the fireplace. She's got this um really big doll. Um, it's got a gray dress with like white lace on it and like yarn for hair. And she's just sitting there playing with it. You see, um, Bert Holden, the uh, servant, bringing her like cookies on like a little you know, plate next to her, sitting it down next to her on, like, the coffee table. Oh, these people have no life! He's just gonna go <laughs> walking down with the group and be disappointed. <laughs> That's unlucky. Can't, no stealing from the rich people here, dude. I mean, they gotta have something to do with the goblins, right? Bert's right? holding his ground. <laughs> so Bert's just waiting for his opportunity. Mm. But is actually just a go goblin. Check back every couple Three hours. goblins in a trench coat. I have nothing that goes hoot in the night. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're going to... Um... We'll go to the temple. To the yeah, temple. we're going to the temple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, as getting... you make it to the temple, um, when you are walking through the market, um, the guard has already... The one that saw that you guys had killed the hags... He had already ran, shuffled off, kind of. Um, and as you guys are walking to the market, he actually catches back up to you. Um, a lot of the townspeople are staring. You see um, a dude with a bunch of cinnamon buns in his hands, and he's just, like, gawking <laughs> at you as you walk by. Um, the guard runs up, and he's like, uh, uh, Reeve Wilmot will be here immediately. And just kind of shows you the way it's into the temple. Um, when you walk in... There is a thick scent of incense. Um, you, the, there's really big, heavy doors, and a um, woman approaches you. She's got her head cowled, um, and she goes, Please, uh, leave the beast outside. And she points to Angramar. Excuse me. That's rude. Aren't I still on the beast? Yeah, you are. Still <laughs> yeah, on the that beast. Was <laughs> the All right, I moved it. I... To, yeah, help carry you and yeah. stuff. I'm, I moved to carry. Okay. Uh, the paladin. And just drag him off. She did not mean it that way. She did not mean it that way. You are beautiful. She's just ignorant. You are more than a beast. You are a brave thing. You can't blame me. And I'll instruct him to leave out that. For being I, I just say nice teeth. <laughs> Okie dokie. So <laughs> when you first walk in... As as we enter the temple, I'm the last, and I turn and see the tray of cinnamon buns, and I scream out, Cinnamon buns! <laughs> <laughs> um, I draw my spear. The I go, what? what? <laughs> if I had flat teeth, I'd be gritting them right now. <laughs> Cogs, what is that? You, do, you don't want me wailing around my rapier. That's fine. <laughs> when you yell cinnamon buns, the baker kind of looks over and he's like, Would you like one? 
<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> he thinks of him. Where's Austrian graffiti? <laughs> I don't know. Boys, I think we need to work on our safe words. We do. Uh, sorry, sorry. I vote I, I I pineapples. About pineapples are exotic. You don't see them very often, so they you don't get mixed up. Why don't we just say help me? That's too, that's too easy. That's too, <laughs> too obvious. Too we obvious, don't want yeah. our enemies to know our next move. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, yelling something. Why don't we use a simple word like see? see, Here's the thing. Here's the thing. For now, the safe word may be cinnamon buns, but then we come up with a strat with a with a combat tactic, and we call it pineapple. So we say pineapple. Everyone knows what to do. The enemy has no idea. Exactly. Start coming up with names. Not even Jimmy will know what's going on. Yeah. yeah, So clearly, none of you have formation. Yes. I am. Okay. She motions for you to uh, put him on one of the pews over here. She's like, please, please, just uh, put him down. To thonk. Um, there's another person that is praying at the altar, and they see that you've just brought in this, like, unconscious, like, you know, deadweight body. Ble- it's like this woman. Bleeding and she just profusely. Sort of, yeah, she, like, clutches her pearls and sort of shuffles out. The guard at this point is like, all right, uh, Reeve Wilmot just said, just take care of them, Sally. And he sort of shuffles off. The woman um, immediately begins <laughs> tending to your wounds. Um, she's going to cast um, a healing spell on you. She's going to give you back. Oh, you know. Roll high. Two plus eight, so ten HP. Oh, nice. Whew. Nice. All right, now, uh... Jesus. Okay. You come to consciousness. You are in a temple. Um, you smell a thick, sweet incense. The floor is made of stone. You look up. There's a chandelier. You're on a hard wooden pew. There's a stone altar with uh, candles burning on candelabras. And there is a large uh, stone statue. It's about 10 feet tall of the mother. You're right, Raynor. How are you feeling? Sore. Did we win? Oh, yeah, we won. Don't worry. Oh, we wouldn't be here if we didn't, Paladin. Yeah, we wouldn't be. You wouldn't be awake <laughs> right if we didn't win. I stand up, crack my back, and kind of uh, take the like the priest's like hands and say, Thank you. Mother bless you. <sighs> Mother bless you as well. I take a moment. Oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I, I I take a moment to kind of gruffly look at the paladin, and I say, one of my wise kinmen once said, "It's better we cross paths than cross one another." And then I offer my hand to shake. Oh, you. That's me. Sweet. Or totally. Yeah. The paladin. Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I nod and shake his grasp. I don't gr- grasp his hand. I grasp his like forearm. Yeah, but uh, was... yeah. And I just say, "Just doing my duty at any time." And I Paladins. and I also say, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, at, at this point in time, like I before I ungraph, I, I I pull him in closer, and I look him in the eye and is like, "This makes us this makes us brothers in arms." And I slap him on the I give him a slap on the shoulder and then walk off towards the altar. And I just I just paladins. <laughs> <laughs> As she is looking over the party, her eyes land on Diastri. Um, Diastri, I want you to roll an insight check. Oh. Ooh. Hello. She looks at you it. and her eyes kind of narrow and she's like, and what is an elf doing in the mother's temple? You can tell that she is a mixture of afraid and there is some resentment to those words. <sighs> 
Well, not to go into too much detail, but we are adventurers, and it's only a matter of time until we landed here, but I don't truly take too much merit in this building. Can I... Can Rainier... Rainier's like a... Was like a... About like in mid kneeling at the altar at that comment, can he like stand up and just immediately like aggressively with all intent to intimidate walk straight up to the priestess and I'd like to pull out my holy symbol of the mother and push it in front of her face and say, Do you have a problem with my companion? Yeah, go ahead, roll intimidate. Big strong hulking paladin. <laughs> Intimidating oh, level twenty priestess. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she seems oh! she takes a step back. I said that one. Oh jeez. She takes a step back no. and goes, I I mean no offense, it's just my family Just what? My family was killed Your family? by elves. This one? No. But Is the we mother's on love only? Is the mother's love only for humans? No, that's true. That's true. Perhaps I judged you too harshly. I'm sorry, Elf. What is your name? Uh, my name is Diostri. Diostri. I apologize. The Paladin has proven to me that <laughs> I have much work to do with my faith. Perhaps... I can give you something to make up for my aggression. That would be a start. But first I must ask, have you ever killed a human? Um, no, not that I'm aware of yet. All right. Yes. And she goes <laughs> um up the stairs there's these like little stairs uh it's a ladder actually over here and she kind of climbs up there real quick and a couple of minutes later she comes back down and she gives you a book it is a book of hymns of the mother when you open it a small feather falls out it's like a bookmark And what uh, can you tell me about this book? It is so that you may find yourself on the path of righteousness. They are hymns of the mother, that you may read and understand her love. I need to find righteousness within a book? Can Perhaps I not just find that by will help you understand. being myself? It will I, bring you I'd like to, to our goddess. I'll take the book kindly and uh, gently close it. And I say, thank you. Uh, thank you. It'll help. Uh, uh, it will help us very much on our mission. And I'd like to like kind of let her know that I'm wanting to intercede to one break the awkwardness and just kind of let her know like it's like it's appreciated if that and I, I would like to make it clear that it's not uh unappreciated i yeah. am just curious of these ways of your faith at this point um you see elder the shawl burst in through the doors he's panting he's like totally out of breath he's like an older dude so for him to like be running up isn't he like a hundred um <laughs> that's something i was curious about because like he's very old he got he's he is like he goes mid 50s he's like a hundred and she said she had a crush on him hey Back you're like day, 50 though and, and you're day. like ripped also she was in I mean, charge of the town enough, yeah. just gonna you know he used to be in charge of the town there's a power mm -hmm. there's a power Very play up there um, <laughs> he bursts in and he goes I heard you fought the hags you knew about the hags I have just found out <laughs> what are yes. they doing here did they say anything 
I, I look at Arthur. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why they were here. Did they mention the artifact? The artifact? What artifact? The elven artifacts. No. There was no mention of elven artifacts. Do you mm -hmm. remember you guys? Did, she, did they mention any elven artifacts to you guys? We came up a little bit later. I think no. it's all artifacts look like. Do you know? Do you know how to describe them? No, I I am in search for them as well. All we got from them was lies. Yeah. Mm, sounds like hags. I have only ever run into <laughs> one once, but they were a dangerous encounter. I'm glad you've made it out okay. Please, yeah. tend to them, Sally. Put it on my tab. <laughs> she tab will church. heal you guys. Um, she casts a small spell. She heals you guys all up to full HP. Woo. It takes uh, about 15, 10 to 15 minutes for her to ritual cast a spell, during which she spends her entire time behind the altar. She's flipping through the book in front of her um similar to the book that uh she gave to you it's just you know a religious text kind of like a bible of sorts and so she flips to the right page and she starts chanting you feel a warmth um inside of you you feel healed elder lashal has to go sit down on one of the pews he's out of breath and uh he's like oh i believe that they were searching for the artifacts that i am searching for Please, we must find those elven scrolls. I fear we are running out of time. Time? Time for what? If others know about these scrolls, they can find the artifacts. What is the believe... importance of these artifacts? Yeah. It is rumored that they are imbued with the powers of the ancient gods. And at that even though Sally's kind of, like, doing a spell, she kind of, like, rolls her eyes while she's, like, doing it. <laughs> what like... value do the elven gods have? The human gods bested them. Because these are artifacts with great power. I wish for it to be returned to the elves. After all, it is imbued with their gods. However, That's if it gets strange. into the wrong hands, it could be detrimental. Coming from the history of this town, that is quite strange that you would want them given back to the elves. I have no Wouldn't... quarrels with the elves. We've pushed them from their homes. They are the victims in the annals of history. Hmm. They have also caused much suffering. As have humans. <laughs> As has yeah. everyone. Except the gnomes! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like everybody shares your uh, opinion, Elder Lachal, here in this town. They, I would rather see the, the scrolls studied I, by... I would like to roll a history check on that gnome claim. Or... It's true. Taken back to the dwarves <laughs> to be studied. But what would the dwarves have with elven artifacts? There are dwarven artifacts. We, well, that's the thing. We don't know. That's why we study them. It used to be that the Arakakra studied everything that was in terms of magic, power, the ley lines, the deities. And look where that got them. Mm. Disgusting I mean, you and I are here because of them. True. Elder Lashal. Well, if you won't help me, I shall try to find We'll help us. you. We'll help you. We just, I Whoa. believe, personally, that we have more pressing matters. Your town was attacked by goblins. We still have yet to find out the, their origins. Your lake is infested with something that's pushing quippers close to shore. Uh, your huntress is sick. Um, just with two hags. Yeah, we just killed two hags um, right in almost inside your town. Um, I feel like finding elven artifacts is probably the, the least of our worries. 
especially if like it's if you don't even want them to study if you're just going to give them back to the elves let the elves find them yeah, more importantly the elder lashal more importantly the elder lashal while i at least am willing to assist you in finding these artifacts i would expect the founder of the town who that bears your name to understand uh, the priorities of the time I understand you are doing what you think is best, but I can assure you, goblins, lycanthropes. Wait, did you tell him that she was bitten by a werebear? No, no, no. 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 I just said she was sick. Not. Never mind. Goblins and <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Mean nothing. Okay, we comparison. don't need to kill the guy to keep him it, quiet. Got in it. fact, <laughs> if we could maybe extend Elder Lashol's life if we got him bitten. <laughs> <laughs> All he dies from the bite. Maybe, but that you know, risk and reward. Yeah, we're just gonna drag an old man over to a girl who's chained up and tell her to bite him. Wait, oh, that's gonna go. No, over we well. bring the were bear into town. The guards are gonna stop us. You think they could stop? Let's us? have the were bear bite Blinky. Oh <laughs> no! Then we have a were bear Blinky dog. No, <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. Would, we'd have a dog bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That was Elder the Shell. I, I do, wasn't do saying you believe the man bear dog? <laughs> Elder the Shell, do you believe that these bear. elven artifacts may have any doings along with the creatures that we've seen here in town the past two days? I believe that that's what the hags were here to find. But you said the the scrolls or the artifacts weren't even near the town. They were quite a way away. Why would Why the would... hags set up camp almost inside our town or inside this town to look for them? Why wouldn't they go straight to the area in question? Because Unless someone might... in this town knows something. They might not know where they are. How would they know to come here? It is known How many people have you wide. told of your research? Everyone knows. Fuck. Everybody knows that Lashal Cove knows where the elven artifacts are. No, everyone or... knows that I pay lots of money for my research. And my research... Mm. How much money would talk? Over... We haven't seen any money. Over the course of my whole life, <laughs> a king's ransom. Oh! Not, not literally. <laughs> I never ransomed a king. But you genuinely believe that these elven artifacts are more important than the livelihood of your town, of every person in this village. I believe that all of the ancient artifacts imbued with the powers of the gods have the power to end civilizations. Look what happened during the Great War with the dragons and the Arakakra. Maybe they should just stay hidden away from... If that was the case, the why didn't the elves use them to fight with the humans? They did. Do you not know the tale of Daro, the elven general? Then here we are. Why did the elves lose? Because the humans have artifacts as well. The mother left us... And the father left us with great tools. And you, and your, your, no your, tools, your tools bested world-ending artifacts, is what you're trying to tell me. Ghibli? Yes. Would my character know anything of this? Uh, roll a religion check. Okay. A religion check or a history check? Religion. Directly has to do with the deities. Gotcha. Nope! You don't Not know at all! Nothing. Um, <laughs> That's a nat one. Nat one. Would I know anything? Sure, roll a religion check. You have heard the same thing, that basically in every uh, nation, every race has its own pantheon. Those were the gods that originally 
created those races kind of like an adam and eve style thing where like you know all the elves came from the elven gods all the humans come from the human gods all the arakaka come from the arakaka gods and that's the same for everyone um it's rumored that they're all the gods when they died left behind objects imbued with their power that's it, it that's like common pretty common knowledge pretty well known elder lashal is one of the only people that seems to actually take it seriously as opposed to a lot of people who have like lost faith or whatever or not that they've even lost faith but that they they just these items haven't resurfaced in so long that no one really like believes that they exist they're probably just stories to tell your children kind of like you know tales that you would tell like a, a an adventurer you know like oh yeah go out there and totally go find that magic item kind of thing um, it's like most... like modern stories of Arthur and the Sword in the Stone or the Lady in the Lake. Yeah. And... Would... Okay. So if every race has some, right? Um, so the dwarves in the Cataclysm weren't like super badly affected. We kind of just like moved in. Do we like or would I know of like a, any dwarven artifacts? Yeah, you've heard of um, a dwarven artifact um, that was supposedly lost when um, you guys dug down and when the Arakakra did their spell and it moved all the ley lines, it actually crumbled several chambers in uh, dwarven underground mountain cities. And so supposedly that's where uh, some of the some of the dwarven artifacts were kept. And but... were they potentially like world ending artifacts? The as the rumors go, yeah. Okay. But again, most most people when they tell you about this, like you would have been like a young dwarven boy and like you mm. would have been told the story and you would have been like, Wow, that's so cool and everyone would have been like, Yeah, yeah, haha. It's like Santa yeah. Claus, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like he's Elder Lashal, you just like doesn't believe it. You've stated you've studied these artifacts. Uh, are you s specifically talking about only the Elven or all artifacts? Your life for your I've whole life. Studied many of them, many of the races. However, because the humans live where the Elves used to reside, I believe I'm capable of tracking down. I'm this close to tracking down an Elven artifact. There was a cloak worn by Daro, the elven general. He fought generations of humans. Grandfathers, great-grandfathers, fathers, sons, children have all fought and died against Daro. And you he... want to give this, <laughs> this artifact back? It belongs to the elves. elves. What do you think they're going to do with it? Keep it. It's theirs. They might use it, it to wage they war. Use it to wage war and kill you. More humans. Everyone in this little temple here. He kind of looks. Have any of the artifacts ever been found? Not to my knowledge. Not just the el elven, dwarf, any. So the humans haven't got their artifacts. They're lost to time. But you want us to find an elven one, and give it to the elves, and have the elves be the only nation in the world or that we know of that have one of these potential world ending artifacts listen it does not belong to the humans i and get looks, that he looks at canaray and he goes if it was rumored that another nation had a dragon artifact would you not want it for your own kind I I would. Then you mentioned we'll... earlier Go ahead. that the cataclysm was due to mul many of these artifacts being used together. Mm -mm, would no, I... it was done uh. by the Arakakra. Yeah, and so you you, me you mentioned something about uh, the artifacts being used together. It was using the just... great the Great War against the Great War. Sorry, else. yes. Yeah. Um, so if only the elves had theirs, would it be potentially world ending or would it just be that they would be more powerful if they had that artifact or those artifacts? They would be more powerful, but at this point, the elves, I don't think that they would try to retake their homeland. 
They've already moved. They've begun creating new cities. They're they're attempting to fit within the the new world order. I th I think you underestimate the elves. Perhaps some of them are rude, but I have. And he tries to like quiet his voice so that Sally doesn't necessarily hear while she's still doing her ritual. I have contacts within the Elven Kingdom. As have I had contacts within the Elven Kingdom. They're not all bad. You travel with one yourself. I agree they're not all bad, but I believe the majority far outweighs the few. And the same thing can be said of humans. Or dwarves. It can be, I guess. Or dragonborn. But I feel like... Oh. Maybe I if the humans the... have the artifact and they're not, they don't know how to use it, they, they're less likely to wage a war with said artifact. Nobody said anything about whether or not anybody knows how to use it, even the ills. But the dilemma here isn't necessarily who, specifically speaking of the races, who has the artifacts, but I believe Elder Lashal is stating that given time these artifacts will be found and he's trying to step in and hopefully keep it out of the wrong hands may i just ask i haven't actually heard go ahead ignis what does the cloak do i haven't heard that at all if it just makes it so he doesn't get hurt that's one thing if it makes it so he grows 10 arms and fires laser beams from his eyes it's What's entirely different <laughs> it is rumored. Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, you gnomes and your technologically advanced nation. <laughs> no, no, no. You just live near the swamps. Don't. Don't worry about us, gnomes. It is rumored to imbue the wearer with invisibility or flight or the strength of the gods. All of the accounts differ, but one thing remains the same. Doro only started losing battles after the cloak was stolen from him. And where do you think this cloak is again? I don't know, but there is a record. Supposedly, in the Warrens, there is a scroll of after the elves fled. Apparently, they wrote where the cloak was hidden. Where, uh, you can do you have to know these where... items? What, Flappy? How would we even identify these items if they, like, we had it showed up? Like, how would we have any idea that one of them is one of the artifacts as opposed to just a regular old cloak or an object? Then mm. He'd have to identify it. I mean, but I, I don't think we're looking for the cloak per se at this moment. We're looking for documents that tell us where the cloak is uh, yeah, and it might lock it. and the documents might have like information saying like how to identify it maybe yeah i lock it though actually <laughs> elder lashal the fuck i don't know about this i just woke up damn it the the actual locket we found on the hags mm -hmm. Yeah, we've like someone has that. I don't know who. I don't know who has that. I want to just hand it over to the guy. The guy will try and take it. <laughs> well, no, but it, it has like. He might get paid for it. We either get paid for it, he or money. maybe he, maybe he knows what H J and F J mean. All right, all right. Guys I'll ask so him. Research. All right, fine, fine. Flappy will pull out the locket out of his bag. Shop. <laughs> Do you uh know anything about this locket? What, what is the FJ and HJ? I think in your language, those are the letters. Oh, I don't know what this locket is, but I do know that when Flora and Hugh were young, they used to carve their initials on the trees, FJ and HJ. This was found. Who, who is Flora and Hugh? Two Jass. <laughs> and Flora oh Jazz. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hugh is the baker in town. Flora is his wife. She runs the other store that I'll tell you what she runs right now. 
<laughs> All right. All right, fine. More side well, quests. Well, we might be done anything, with this one. It just, means, it just means money with you, Flappy. <laughs> um, Cinnamon buns! Elder, Elder Lachal, uh, if we come across anything, we will let you know. In the meantime, this town has other issues. And we need to make getting those fixed so that you guys can have food for the next year. All right, then. I shall continue my search. Thank you. I must be off. Do you have any way, do you have any way that we could keep contact with you on our travels? You can send me a letter through the courier. How far away was, did he, like, uh, was the, like, Warrens that he mentioned? Because he did show oh, us, I think, on the map at, at when we went The nearest one, I think, lines up with the elven runes that are northwest of Avashore, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, so um, Avashore is the next town over. It's about an eight-hour travel. And north of that is a hilly kind of grassy meadow area. And that's where, the, that's the Warrens. So it's north of okay. Avashore's. So, how many, like, miles north? It's It'd be a fair bit, hey? Mm, it'd be, like, you know, eight, ten hour trip to get there. Walking, not including... Is that, like, how, how we can walk, like, uh, 11 miles in a day, right? More than that. Is it? I think a full day of travel. On average, about 20. Yeah. 20? Yeah. 20 miles. 20 miles, okay. That's at, that's at a decent rate. Mm. So, and that's not including, yeah. like, mounts or anything. Yeah. Yep. Okay. To my knowledge, a is league that eight hours, is, by, is that eight hours to ever sure by foot or by yeah. mount? Yep. By okay. Foot. What was that, Ignis? To my knowledge, a league is twenty miles, and a league originally came from the idea of how far people could walk in a day. So people would be like, that "Oh, twenty leagues, so twenty many, days away." Yeah. That makes so many, so much more sense. Reading. Yeah, I was just saying because I have, crap. um, I I've have never known that. I can, I can talk to people, um, that are up to six miles away i believe it's beyond that yeah it would be past yeah past the six mile range um with that elder lachal you have a really loud voice can, can i ask elder lachal one more question yes uh these people uh in the elven nobility or government uh can you tell me more about them who do you know who they are do you have names I have oh, sorry, names, but... but I do not wish to, and he's, again, hush-hush, trying to make sure that Sally doesn't hear that he, like, has contacts with the elves. I do not wish to put them in any danger. They're, they, the elves don't know what they are doing, but they're working with me. Yeah. I think he might be a little off his rocker. That, that doesn't, <laughs> that makes me a little weird saying, hey, the elves have no idea what they're doing, but they're working with me since I know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, the elves that he's working with, they're not being sanctioned by their government oh, to oh, do oh, this, is what I'm saying. With... They're on the hush-hush oh. with their country. He's on the hush-hush with oh. his country. It's a little sneaky-sneaky. No one knows. Yeah, that makes me even more sus about yeah. like the whole situation. Who exactly we'll is find these artifacts. Mm. We will try to identify these artifacts, and then we'll make the decision then. All right. Worst, worst comes to worse, uh, Diastri gets a new cloak. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> and with that, he kind of um, you know, gathers up his cloak, or his, not a cloak, but like his robes and stuff. <laughs> hey, yeah, he's he's like, like, <laughs> and <laughs> and um, he leaves. Uh, Sally finishes up her ritual. You guys are all back up to full um, health slots. At this point, it's about 2 p.m., it's the afternoon. Um, she's like, uh, apologies, but I do have um, an evening prayer that uh, the, the townspeople would be coming in for. You're more than welcome to stay. I, I believe I shall be. I will, I yeah, will do, be leaving with my companions. However, I do I know about the rewards everybody got from Higa? Nope. Or, nope. Yeah. They are keeping that yeah, to themselves. You, you left. Oh, actually, I'll be. Go I'll go up to Rainier when he when he wakes up, and I'll give him um two two healing potions. Oh, 
Thank you. I'll add that to my sheet. Yeah. Um, I would like I uh would like to pull Sally aside and kind of walk into a corner out of earshot of everyone else. Okay. While and you're doing I would like that, to... real quick, where's the rest of the party going? Are they going to leave you here? Well, Flappy just out. got a mission to go out. talk to the baker, so... I'll wait outside. <laughs> I'm going to find something to eat. I'm hungry. Okay. All right, <laughs> I'm right going now. to the baker. What is do they that? do sausage rolls at the bakery? Oh, yes. they do, yeah. That's what that's what Canary baby. was eating yesterday. <laughs> going round, for round two, baby. Let's well, there go. are no hot dogs. In... <laughs> I could go for a sausage roll. Yeah, they got sausage rolls. Oh. What is it, Paladin? My name is Rainier. Rainier. Oh god, what name I wrote down? <laughs> Rainier Himmerling. Do you know of me? I have not heard of you. No. Okay. And I again pull out the symbol of the mother. And I put my hand, other hand on her shoulder, and I look her in the eye, and I say, "What you did today." Requires penance. Do you understand? Level two paladin, guys. <laughs> I believe that <laughs> Soon I made to be. a, a mistake, but I. Yes, you did. You don't understand. My family I do. and I, we were on a mission trying to spread the mother's love. Ma'am, I fought in the war with the orcs. I do understand. I'm very old. Now, times are changing. I understand the pain you feel. But what you did in times where races are intermingling, and this in the state of... Asir Elur. Asir Elur, of all places, where you have giants working in the fields, that attitude needs change. So here's what you will need to do. And I take out five gold coins and I place them one at a time in her hand. And I say, each of these gold coins you are to use one for each flower festival over the next five years. And you are to provide food and comfort. Minor, minor. Maybe buy a, me like a meal for each non-human traveler that enters this town. I will do that, Paladin. But keep yes, an will. eye on your elven friend. There is, I very much will. There is more to him, I believe, that he is not sharing with you. The same is true for me. You are a paladin now, of the mother. You are a righteous man. To some, yes. Have a good day. And I walk out. All right. So you guys uh, go to get food. You want to go to the market? Because yes. that's where the baker is. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I also got to pick up arrows. Okay. Um, <laughs> On the way, I'm going to mold some rocks. All right. <laughs> before, before we go to the market, should we divvy up? Our the loot, gold equivalent loot, whatever. Cut the gems in half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also I have each... two platinum pieces. So, uh, two. How much is that? That's only twenty gold, right? Uh, That's twenty yeah. gold. Yeah, you can keep that. Twenty gold. Yeah. Uh, what all do we have? Because I was unconscious. I. Honestly, zoned I think out. We just got some gems that lock it, and that's uh, pretty much bronze. it, really. We got a bronze, we can... uh, big bronze coin yeah. with a symbol written yeah. on it. Oh, yeah, we can't read the symbol, the right? The gem is worth 50 gold, she said, and Flappy the can, pearl is the 100. So Lappy really can quickly. read that symbol on the bronze Ooh. coin, right? Yeah, wait a second, yeah, wait a second. As we're going through that, so. Um, this is out of character, uh, but spellcasters. Are either of you planning on taking Identify? Because you need a pearl worth 100 gold. I was not, no. If I can okay. learn it, maybe. I would check before we sell it, because that has bitten me in the butt before. Wait, we got a I pearl that's worth 100 warlock. gold? Yep. We did. Yes, we, we did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah well, I reckon we hang on to that then. 
We can have them. Yeah. We don't have to do anything with them right now. Well, I was gonna say no, we could probably like sell. We could sell the gem to get the fifty gold to d divvy up. I'm not really. Yeah, what do we need the gold for? Yeah, that's what I'm. Just, I don't know. We could just. There's no like magic shops. If we want so to, I'm sure we could. Maybe... The entire group. It could just be group to fun. appease our internal goblin. <laughs> I May I see going. the wooden twig? Maybe I can. Wooden the... twigs typically. Uh, someone got it? a wooden twig. The was... twig. Oh yeah, the wooden yeah, stick. I got the. Yeah. I got. I got the thin wooden stick. I did that. Yeah. You can um do can... an arcana check. May I see it, can please? I... Do you know I have it? <laughs> no, yeah. If you want to. Well, it, I'll, I'll I was it. with. I was there with the hags. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll show it to you. I... Ripped one open. Just like a... <laughs> oh Lord! You can seventeen tell arcana. That it is a magical item. It is a wand, and you are unable to discern what it is exactly that it does. Um, but you could, over a short rest, um, either attune to it if it's attunable, or just learn the nature of what it is by kind of experimenting with it. It is a wand. Generous. Uh, most likely used by spellcasters. Yeah. If anything. If you want it, feel free. I have a sword, so I'm not too concerned. My friend, he's um, as soon. Would yes. you also potentially like this? Uh, I mean, would be potentially, if for? you if you don't need it. I don't really like, I mean, if we're ever in a fight against something like what those are, I may be more useful with a with a weapon like that than with my own spells. Yes, I have my finger guns. <laughs> so, yeah, because all my, literally all my spells are DC saves. So, oh god, <laughs> depending on so yeah yeah. Uh, I'll give it to yeah uh, I'll give it to you and if oh, once sweet. you are tested out, we'll see who it would best be with. Sure. I'll, right. fiddle with I'll it. give, I'll give Arthur my two platinum pieces. Uh, no, it's, it, 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 okay. <laughs> and then, uh, should we give? You guys had the coin, right? And you couldn't read it. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure who had the coin. Yeah, I think as we're uh, divvying out know. things, whoever can read it should speak up. So yeah, it's in black right. stand, which is flappy. Um, when you look at the coin, it's you can tell it's of no monetary value, but the symbol that is carved yeah, onto it is thieves' cant, and it means safe passage. Mm. And it has Higalela's thieves' cant signature on it, which happens to be a dog. Uh oh, that could be a plot thickens. Right, well, I guess I can share that with the group. Beautiful. We should hang on to that. Beautiful, beautiful. Wait, what's what's bronze going for? What's it like on the market right now? <laughs> the bronze. It's, uh, less expensive than silver, more expensive than uh, <laughs> copper. God dang it. <laughs> yeah, I guess we should just hold it's on to it, guys. It's, it's there not to be worth a rogue much. in the party so that our party can potentially understand that it's a safe place or... Okay, is this coin like is her signifying that she's a safe place, or is this her a token for her to be able to be redeemable? This is a redeemable like... token that you mm. would give oh. to someone. And... If we ever run into the thieves guild and they're trying to kill us or something, we can be like parlay, and then oh. they have to take us <laughs> to their leader. Yep. And we use it to get the dog back. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no what comes, I'll, I'll work on that. We use it to get into the Thieves Guild, and we then let them know where she is. And that's how we get the dog dog back. They go and kill her. <laughs> and bring us the dog. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure if we gave them enough money, they would. Yeah, that's how they run. No honor amongst thieves. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There's, you know, I mean, the dog's just at this little old lady's house, and she's in a wheelchair. Yeah, but we're, and... we're not evil people, okay? And he's, no, no, he's no, got to no. go we outside. evil people to do that sort of stuff. I I am, mean, I, we I could am... just happen to be outside when he's outside, and if he follows us, yeah, he follows us. I am neutral us. good. I would not intentionally, in character, oh. cause someone harm. However saying, oh, hey, by the way, we found so-and-so, and she has a dog that we want. 
I am oblivious. <laughs> fair, fair. Um, as you guys start walking through the market, um, the baker who had offered Diastri the cinnamon buns and knows Canaray from yesterday where he fed him a whole bunch of sausage rolls, he kind of greets the party and he's like, hey, hey, come over here. And he gives you a cinnamon bun, Diastri, and he gives Canaray a sausage roll. Let's fucking go. Are you guys hungry? <laughs> I can... I can... Yes. I just we're hungry. Yeah, what do you he have? just I bought am... two hags. I am you saw hungry. how I threw down yesterday yesterday. You know I'm I, hungry. I lift up my shirt and show him like the, the sutured up scars. Like I w I am starving. He's like, uh, here, uh just take whatever you want. Um and you know, he's got all kinds of baked goods. He's got sweet rolls, he's got cinnamon rolls, he's got cakes, pies, he's got all kinds of meat pies, um, he's got sausage rolls, breads of all different kind, muffins, cookies. I'll take one of each. All right. Okay. I take one meat pie for me and two meat pies for Angramar, and I just do the throw them in the mouth and watch as it snap shut. <laughs> he finds that impressive and is actually not intimidated the way that most townspeople are. Woo! Woo! If oh, only this he is knew the baker, right? That a handbag. Yeah, I would, I would like thing. to approach him, hold out the locket, and go, What the hell is this? I uh, believe the, your initials? Flora! And he calls um, his wife over. She's in the flower stand. She sells flowers. And she comes running over and she goes, oh, My locket! She what? sells flowers? Flora yeah. is the flower. And her name is Flora? Oh, yeah. We're very, oh. very Oh, no. <laughs> she was born for that job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, straight up. That's Huge ass, the baker. Bird. Big bun. Huge ass. <laughs> got big buns. I know saucy names. He's, he's got a huge Actually, ass no, bakery. No, he did too. it. Twitter did. But anyways. <laughs> oh, um, oh. Uh, even better. I love it. Uh, yeah, so right. she runs over. She's like, oh, my locket. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Do you give it to her? Or um, you just like hold it out in front of no, her? No, I still have <laughs> questions. Um. Yeah, well, uh, what happened? How did you lose it? Oh, I don't know. I was probably out picking flowers. Likely story. I'm going to start bringing it back closer to my chest. How did you lose it? Please, I, I just, I don't know where exactly when I lost it, but I just know one day I came home and I wasn't wearing it anymore. I'd like to help well, Flappy out. And that, uh... I'm going to say... Oh, sorry, Flappy, go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. You can interrupt me. Oh, I was gonna say, Flappy, is that the locket that you found on the two witches that we just killed that st that's had that locket on them? Yes, and somehow we don't know how they got it. It just the witches that happened. nearly killed us as we fought to get it back for this couple. Witches? What did well, they look like? Only if you were a dragonborn or you. <laughs> Links to the scars on your chest. <laughs> I don't know why witches would have my my locket, but I know that I lost it one day while I was out foraging for flowers. With a mouthful of a uh, sausage roll, I, I say, I believe they were hags. <laughs> yeah, no, I can. I can. You asked what they looked like. I I, I could kind of uh, imagine. Do you, do you know what beer goggles are? Yes, I don't... that's trouble. That well, that's that's kind of that's kind of the before and after of uh, <laughs> what we ran into. Heads you... travel in threes. How do we doesn't, know that you're doesn't not Doesn't Ignis third? have <laughs> minor oh, illusion? God, Couldn't he just finish. like literally make a picture of them? <laughs> yeah. If they wanted to know what they look like, he could just make an illusion. Look, and I'm isn't not saying, is, I'm skeptical. Uh, I'm just saying there were only two she, hags. Uh, recognizes yeah, they, so they said the, their sister the died, and they were, she was. Yeah, they 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 claimed that their sister died. No, we, no. Do we have uh, proof? We, yes, we rolled a high insight check and figured it out. Mm. Yeah. Okay. She Arthur, someone Arthur knows killed them. The illusion. And well, I've that seen yet. That lady. I'd be very happy. <laughs> she was out in the woods. We were picking flowers together. Yeah, uh, that... What interest would she have in your locket? Uh. I don't know. It's pretty. It's made out of pure silver. And her husband at this point is like, I'll pay you to get it back. I have. No I gave you a bunch of baked goods. What more do you want? Oh, I'm paying for these. 
baked goods, the pure gold. silver. Hmm. I easy. give him a gold. Send it back. I'm, I'm going to reach out the locket and grab the gold. <laughs> oh my god. You give him give back him the locket, locket and the gold? Back. Yeah, but I'm going to grab the gold. <laughs> That's Christ. fine. He's like a little perturbed, but he's just like... Uh, and he like gives the locket to his wife and kind of puts it on for her and he's like here you go this was a present when we first got married down by the dock I'm losing again what? I have a before before you put that on um because this is in the possession of a hag can you open the locket just to make sure nothing bad is inside yeah and so she opens it it's just hj fj nothing happened oh that's inside i thought the... that was on the back yeah do any of us have the ability to detect magic or anything not yet. No. Nope. I would oh, like to roll an insight it. check. Sure. sure. I've had it for a while. I'll roll a con on it. Surely they're dead. He gets. They... There is nothing May magical I... about this locket. It's just a Useless. piece of silver. That... Great. May well, I, I got a piece insight. of gold for a piece of silver. What? A... <laughs> I, just, I just shoot a. I just shoot a look at Flappy. Genius. Ghibli, <laughs> may I roll insight check? Yeah. Uh, on her statement that. Uh, like regarding the fact that she saw the hag before, was picking flowers with her, that seems a little weird. It was yeah. probably in that form. We well, <laughs> how long ago did that happen? Oh, just um, how... two days ago. Checks out. Yep. Yep. Totally checks I'd out. I'd, I'd like to make I... a wager with Flappy. Okay, sure. Can I get another sausage roll? I'd like I'd like to wager that 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 gold piece, Flappy, that uh, Canary can eat that entire tray of cinnamon buns in one bite. Whoa! Flappy would like to see this. <laughs> Flappy in one, in one bite. In one bite. In one Flappy bite. will use gold piece to pay for it too. Mm. Do you wish to okay. do this, Canary? I'd like to get. Hold on, I'd like to get on this. I want to get in on this bet. He okay. just asked for another <laughs> sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> what do I okay, get? Out of this? We 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 can uh, make it. We can make it five roll. sausage rolls if, yeah, if, you, you, get, if you prefer you sausage get all rolls. The, all the sausage rolls. All yeah, right, all that in. that I'm whole in. thing of I'm sausage in. rolls. How many? Uh, Free food. Me, I'm Q, in. Q, Q, how many sausage rolls are on that tray? Uh, uh, thirty-two. <laughs> that full one in the back. Thirty-two. 32. Okay. Thirty-two 36, sausage rolls. Thirty-six. Um, that makes sense. Three dozen. Yeah. Thirty-six. Yeah. Thirty-six. Thirty-six sausage rolls. Okay. <laughs> Who's betting that he, that canner I can eat them? Wait. One bite? I said. I said this tray here up front, the display tray, not the tray in the no, back. No, no, because he, no, no. Canner already ate from that tray. That tray's missing sausage rolls. That's the point. <laughs> he. he He's already started on this tray. We don't want. He's him. already started I'm, on that I'm, tray. I want. A, I want the one in the back. Be... I want the full tray. <laughs> I'll up the ante, I'll up the ante. Two gold, two gold. I will put two gold that Canary can eat that full tray of 36 sausage rolls <laughs> in I, uh, one bite. <laughs> How many medicine checks are we going to have to roll after this? Okay, Canary, um, go ahead. Fog dragon artery. Roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Did you roll a natural one? He <laughs> 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 oh, I saw that coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are able to fit almost the whole tray of um, sausage rolls in your mouth and you chew. Back to the temple. And as you swallow, you just immediately vomit everywhere. <laughs> like, just, just too much food trying to, like, go into your gullet all at one time. And you just, and you hurl it all up. Just oh, no. all over in this general area. I set him up to failure. He'd already eaten he'd already <laughs> eaten a dozen off the first try. I just shrug and say it's better than my dragon breath. <laughs> yeah, well I have a question. Since he's a dragon born, does his dragon breath that are mixed with that? Because it's coming up. No, he has to choose oh, to do that. Unless he wants to It's like two separate it's like a separate board. All right, Flappy, you, yeah, you can keep awesome. your gold. Okay, so Flappy, technically, there's my gold. Where's, where's my gold pieces on my side of the bed, huh? Where's my? Huh? I I said I asked you if you or I said we you I will wager that gold. piece of gold. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Temple Man. Oh, Temple Man. Okay. Anyway, it was I will, Temple Man. I am. You get two gold for that, so I'll give you two <laughs> gold. 
Woo! <laughs> and I go and, and I go and uh, I go and like kind of pat uh, Canary on the back to make sure it's like he's okay. Yeah. Yeah, we might need to send uh, the first back time to the, we'll the last. <laughs> the last on the other. All right, so at this point, it is um, like four or five o'clock at night. Oh. Um, I oh. it, unless you guys want to do something else with your day, you guys are. I want to mention the mushrooms that I found and figure out who knows how to utilize them. Mm. Me, Arthur would He's proficient in health. I can. So I found a backpack and a soul survival. Astra. Where are we where are we staying well, tonight? If anybody has any idea uh, how to make robots. potions, Again? Arthur, Arthur knows. That's Arthur, he said. That's he Arthur said does. he will let us yeah, stay there I'm free of sure. charge as long as we're here. Did he? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't remember yeah. him saying. That. Can, I would like to show them. Arthur the cat pack and Celestra and ask him what he can do with these. I can. Yep, those are mushrooms. Do I know what I can do with those? <laughs> Um, you... I think you showed me I can make only two. Potions. You gave me two potions I can make. You can't use have... them for either of those potions, but yeah. you could learn new potion recipes. And you know, of the herbalist in town, his name is Yuzori, so you could always go speak to him and try to figure out or sell them or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is this the point where Flappy can get proficient in potion making? Just have an apprenticeship in town? <laughs> you want me to spend years of your life doing that while the rest of the party goes on adventures, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's yeah. like, my adventure ends <laughs> here. <laughs> like a no. Flappy thing to do? Hi, guys. Flappy just become my apprentice. All right. Um, because two things. One, we got to end the session soon. And two, yeah. yes. um... You guys are going to level up. So the reason that I ask if you guys want to go and sleep tonight, do you guys want to level up off stream? Or do you guys want to save that for next session and do That's more good. stuff today? Uh, I'd rather I don't really have anything off. else to do. I no, yeah. have a laundry list. I have work in about eight hours. So <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, like in today, in in oh, game today yeah. in game do you want to do anything else before you guys go to bed or do you guys just want to call it here for the night you guys can do whatever you want in the town and then you can level up so that next time next session next week it'll be do we want to roll our hp on stream tomorrow yes yeah we can do that all right then you, let's do it next week because it is getting okay. late but, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm I'm ready to bed down anyway. Uh, yeah. Really, if we're if we're yeah. staying at Reeves' house, I'll probably just go back there and fiddle with the wand for the rest of the afternoon. All that says, I'm I'm gonna walk by Struggles' house and make sure the dogs. I don't know whether anyone walk. else would be able to notice. You need to buy arrows. Okay. Much arrows. All right, then if we're gonna be doing other stuff, then we'll and we're gonna just level up on stream next sesh. I say we call it here. You guys yeah. have um. Given the locket back to um, Flora and Hugh Jass, and uh, Canaray ate 36 sausage rolls and then threw them all up. And we can <laughs> pick up on the next week just from this spot since you guys have other stuff that you guys want to do. And then we'll level up on stream. All right, you were going to say pick up the sausage rolls. Oh, no. <laughs> I would not suggest that. Wait, what what okay. else do we have to do? Exactly. Do we have to. Do I hear another wager? What else did we have to do? I have to buy arrows, and I want to break into the rich people's house if possible. But I, mean, I, like a missile I, I need some arrows as well. I'm telling you, they have something to do with the goblins. Okay, so we just got to do like a bit more shopping. All right. Shopping Meanwhile, stuff. everyone's just glossing over fiddle with the wand for the rest of the session. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that's well, that's yeah. I'll, I was just going to do well, that before bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiddle with yeah I mean, don't we all? I got and nothing, and learn. Yeah, nothing against <laughs> <them>. <laughs> 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 Leviosa. <laughs> and all that jazz. Never hurt anybody. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna fiddle with my wand, you know. Yeah, should only, that don't, should only take like Private half an hour. Possible, or an hour you know, bed. like I'm gonna put up a little screen where I have my bed. Depends rolls, on if you some mushrooms or not. might take longer. Oh, I pray no. that there's oh, it's God. not see it's not a see through screen, so people can't <laughs> see me fiddling with my wand. Take this minor like scene from Austin Powers. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh but no like I, yeah i, I want to figure out what that one does though yeah for sure all right well then i think we'll pick up here we can call the sesh for now
Um, and oh. then next week when we come back, we'll have the rest of the day. Um, so you guys don't level up yet because you haven't technically had a long rest. But since people want to do other things, we'll come back to it. But you guys got a lot accomplished yeah. today. I'm surprised you guys uh, didn't die. Didn't Here's die. Hags. Kind of proud. <laughs> Thanks for not dying. Fucking hags, man. Mm-hmm. When will we went? Were we meant to run into them and, and fight them? Yes and no. Yeah, yeah, I guess it was sort of up to me. So obviously they were the... I'm guessing that's what caused yeah. it. <laughs> what happened, Arthur? Wasn't even close. We ruined him. Yeah, that no, action no. economy. Oof. Yeah. But I'm good. Thank God there wasn't a third hack there. What yeah. what really screwed us... or like, Because it would have gone very, very bad. Like, uh, If the other one had like... So we had uh, Ignis was asleep. Uh, Ignis was asleep, and no one was and near then, him to wake him up, which sucked. Yeah, yeah, and if the second hag then cast sleep on like anyone else, it would have been and, oh god, tits out. But um, I was lucky, yeah. lucky that I got my acid splash off before. Yeah, I got yes. old person. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right, cutie patooties, good sesh. I am going to end stream. So thank you to everyone who hung out and watched session two. Thank you, JJ, for hosting. Have a good one, everybody. You guys are awesome. Enjoy. Thanks for the game. Yeah. Bye. We did it. We survived. Uh